be using the Omnitrix to turn into Ben 10. We have Diamond Head, Accelerate, Forearms, Stink Fly, Ghost Freak, Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Gray Matter. Hey, yo, Bessie, what you doing? Wait, Bessie, did you just say a Space Meteor? Guys, whatever you do, do not leave a like because the Space Meteor is definitely going to blow up my house. What the? Are you guys serious right now? Well, I guess thanks for the like, but I hate you guys because you literally just blew up my house. Well, I guess technically my house is over there, but you were this close to my house. Luckily, there's some water nearby, so we don't have to worry too much about everything burning down. Um, wait, what? Wait a second. No way. Do you guys see this on my wrist? Wait, hold on. Did I just get the Omnitrix? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I take back my hate you comment because I love you guys now. Does this thing actually work? Hold on. So if I hit X, it looks like I can bring up the Omnitrix. That's Heat Blast. I don't know if you guys can tell, on the bottom left, I can now morph into Heat Blast. We have Diamond Head, Accelerate, Forearms, Stink Fly, Gray Matter, Rip Jaws, Upgrade, Ghost Freak, what is happening? Wait, Bessie, Bessie, Bessie. Bessie, what's going on? What is that sound? What is what? Oh, what? Where am I? Wait, guys. Do you, wait, what? What just happened? Oh, okay. It looks like I still have the Omnitrix. One sec, I'm getting a call from Bessie. Hey, Bessie. Hey, Bessie. What the flip just happened? Wait a second. You're saying I have to beat Minecraft in 20 minutes, but I'll get to keep the Omnitrix and also 10,000 cookies? Yes! I dropped my phone. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys love Bessie as much as I do, be sure to go cop the Beck Bro Jack Bessie plushie over at BeckBroJack.co. Whenever I'm mad at Bessie, it's a really good squish toy. But at this point, I love Bessie. There's no time for dilly-dallying, ladies and gentlemen. We need to beat Minecraft in the next 20 minutes using every single one of Ben 10's aliens. All right, there's literally no reason for me to be Beck Bro Ben 10 right now. We're gonna need to morph into the first alien, which should just be Heat Blast. Yes! Okay, so as Heat Blast, I believe I do insane amounts of damage. We could just yeet these sheep. Yes, Pig is dead. Wait a second, okay, I also have so many different flame abilities. So it looks like I can, what? What? I completely forgot Heat Blast is able to fly. And we just found a village too. This, this just keeps getting better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down here. I'm gonna bop this dude because he's a nitwit. Is there an iron golem somewhere down here? I need to make sure not to go into the snowy regions because for whatever reason, Heat Blast, since I guess he's made of fire, does not do super well in cold areas. It's just simple science, I guess. We also have a flamethrower ability and fire fist. <laughs> Luckily, there's no iron golem to protect the villagers. Oh, sweet. Okay, so we just found an iron pickaxe, a couple pieces of gold. We also got lots and lots of extra carbs, a couple of obsidian too. And I guess we can continue to stack up on our bread. We got to get that bread up. We're also running out of time. There's probably only 19 minutes left on the clock. If I'm not able to beat Minecraft in under 20 minutes, which is actually kind of difficult, I'm not going to be able to keep the Omnitrix or the 10,000 cookies. Now, don't get me wrong. Being Heat Blast is great. I'm able to fly around, but there's an alien that I think will go a little bit quicker. So I should actually have Master Control where I can kind of just demorph back into normal Beckbro Ben 10. And wait a second. Okay, I guess I don't have Master Control. If I had Master Control, then I would be able to immediately morph into any alien that I want. But it looks like every single time I demorph back into Beckbro Ben 10, looks like I kind of have to wait a little bit. Yeah, right now the Omnitrix is timed out. In the meantime, I guess I'll do simple human things like punch wood. I feel so weak and puny. Well, we collected seven wood. Let's go ahead and turn that into some really poop looking spruce planks into a crafting table. Bippity boppity. Boop we need into some stickities. Put the uh, the planketies up there, and then we. I don't. Why, why am I dumb? I already have a pickaxe. I heard the Omnitrix. Okay, okay, hold on, wait. Let's see another alien that I can morph into. Diamond Head. Yes, let's do this in three, two, one. Accelerate. Oh, look how fast I can mine. Okay, so right now I'm normal speed, but if I hit X, we go super fast. Yo, wait a second. We're just getting faster. Are we getting faster? <laughs> We're just gonna keep going. This is insane. Wait a second. I could run on water too. This is crazy. By the way, guys, if you do want to try this out, for yourself, there will be a download link to this mod in the description below. Okay, now we can also slow down too. So it looks like if I hold this down, we'll slow down back to normal speeds. Another ability that I have is to just wave my arms extremely fast in order to just create a whirlwind effect. We found exactly what we needed. Okay, so we have a lava pool and we have a water pool directly next to each other. The next thing that I need to do is find some extra pieces of iron and then I can make a bucket and we can go directly to the nether. And luckily, I know just the alien to get to a piece of iron the fastest. Sadly, we're going to need to sit here for a little bit and wait for the Omnitrix to recharge. This is a perfect opportunity to tell you guys, if you haven't already hit that red subscribe button, make sure you tap it with your pinky. It's free, and if you change your mind later, you can always tap it again. But if you do tap it again, I will turn into forearms and use all of my arms to smash your face. All right, sorry, that was slightly aggressive. 
I heard a little ding a -ling. I think we're ready. Okay, so what I'm thinking right now is if I go through all of the aliens, we should be able to morph into Ghost Freak. Somehow Ghost Freak is actually surviving during the day, which is kind of a little bit concerning. But luckily as Ghost Freak, I'm able to first off go invisible. Second off, I believe I am able to just walk through blocks. Now it's not quite as good as spectator mode, so I need to be a little bit careful. But what I can do is walk underground and then I can walk through blocks to see all of the other things around me and it looks like i can also fly through blocks as well oh wait a second if i hold down shift we can just go down and look at it wait a second we have iron right there then if i hit x we can go directly back up to the surface this is working way too well and luckily i can go back invisible so that mobs don't actually see me you don't see me dude turn around look the other way you don't want to do this buddy <laughs> he actually turned around this looks so cool flying around as ghost freak and I'm pretty sure I do enhanced damage so I can just tap any mob and they immediately die. Come here, bacon. <laughs> now what I can do is plop down the crafting table. We can use our 10 cobblestones in order to make ourselves the furnace, even though I only needed eight because my math is terrible. We can put in the coal. We can put in the iron ores. And then all we need to do is stare at it and wait. What the flip was that? Let's investigate. What? Wait a second. Is this Mjolnir? Is this Thor's hammer? Unfortunately, it says I am not worthy enough to lift this awesome weapon. But all right, that actually just happened. I, I wasn't sure if I was just dreaming or not. Okay, all right. I guess in the next episode, we can try to b pick it up as Ben 10. I feel like Ben 10 of all superheroes would be the most worthy. He's literally a 10-year-old kid that fights crime. How much more, more, or cut, how much more pure can you get? Wait a second, guys. Okay, I'm gonna morph back, but I just realized I am going to be able to smash the Ender Dragon as forearms. Or maybe Diamond Head. I really hope there's also Wrath. Be sure to stick until the end to figure out exactly what alien I use in order to slice the Ender Dragon's head off. But in the meantime, we're gonna go, we're gonna collect our iron, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cook our raw pork chops and uh, cook the bacon. We can plop plop, plop these down, get the boogie. I guess we'll need one more boogie. While we're here, we might as well craft ourselves a sword. Really, dude? Really, dude? Oh my gosh, wait a second. So if I'm not an alien, I'm just a normal person. I completely forgot. You see, I didn't realize I can actually die. While my Omnitrix is recharging, we can start building the portal. And we maybe ran into just a slight issue here. I don't have any way to light this. Luckily, I think we can turn back into Heat Blast. Wait, it malfunctioned? That's a thing? Wait a second, I don't actually have full control over my Omnitrix. I just turned into Grey Matter. Grey Matter literally is the worst alien I could be right now. It literally only has five hearts. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, the, the, I mean, I can like, I can climb blocks. That's, I guess, kind of cool. The problem is I'm literally half a block tall. If this skeleton comes up and decides to shoot me, I am dead. I am literally, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I'm literally just gonna die. Okay, let's try this again in three, two, one. Heat Blast. Are you kidding me? We might need to find a different way in order to light the nether portal. I'm wasting valuable time here, but I do have massive fists that do so much damage. Yes. Porky, skeleton. Oh my gosh, it's a one hit KO. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, this is amazing. Boom, dead. Boom, boom, dead. Boom, dead. Boom, dead. Sonic clap. Yeah. Oh, no way. Wait, there's an enderman over here. Let's go try to use a sword as forearms. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. That actually did not do as much damage as I thought it would. Sonic clap. Clap, 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 clap. What are you doing, homeless man? Get out here, homeless man. Stop. I'm gonna keep clapping on you guys. Let's try my double punch. Single punch. <laughs> Okay, I really need to light this portal, but I'm just having too much fun. Okay, this time better work. Three, two, one, heat blast. Why? Three, two, one, heat blast. This thing literally hates my guts. I'm currently recalibrating my Omnitrix because it just does not want to work. Heat blast. Well, um, so I, uh, I turned into, uh, I turned into stink fly. Oh my god, why? Finally, Heat Blast, I love it! I'm so happy to see you! Finally, we have lit the portal. 
into the nether we go. Now that we're here, it should be super easy. I don't take any fire damage as he blasts. This is basically like his home planet. Why, well, hello, fellow flame peoples. Wait a second, they actually do like kind of a little bit of damage to me. Luckily, it seems like they're still damaged by my flame fireballs. Oh, this is amazing. I could just use my flamethrower and my flame fireballs in order to demolish the blazes. And also, I didn't even realize this. I have an ability called heat absorption, which literally absorbs all of the fire around me and gives me extra health. Seven blaze rods should be good. We can go ahead and turn that into the magical blaze powder. Next, we need to find tons of endermen and smash them as a Ben 10 alien. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. What just happened to my Omnitrix? Did you guys just see that? It just turned yellow. Wait a second, it's in capture mode. What does capture mode mean? I got a wolf? Okay, well, I, I I tamed the wolf, but what 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 does capture mode mean? I didn't mean to do that, dude. I don't know how to use the Ben 10 Omnitrix. It was working so well. Wait a second, false alarm. I think it's back to normal. Let's use an alien I haven't used yet. Cannonball. No, why am I back as Stinkfly? This is literally giving me flashbacks to the original Ben 10 series when he had no idea how to control the Ben 10 Omnitrix. What I really need to figure out is how to recalibrate the Omnitrix. Because if I can get that one, then it won't continue to be the Omnitrix that's just the prototype and gives me random alien DNA. There's an enderman right there. Three, two, one, please work. What? Oh, no way. No way. We just turned into way bigger. This is amazing. I accidentally just morphed back to normal. And this guy is not happy about it. I can't even punch from all the way up here. The only thing I can do is use my cosmic ray. It is also great for jumping around and locating the Enderman since I am so tall. <laughs> Just stop on mobs. They don't even damage me. Let's test out Diamond Head. It actually worked this time. I can shoot out diamond blocks. My arms just got super buffed up. Wait a second. I can build diamond platforms. I completely forgot that's one of his abilities. We could just build diamond walls. Even though technically they're not diamonds. I guess that would be slightly overpowered. And I can two hit KO Enderman. <laughs> it's, it's, it's too good. You're mine. Punch. Punch, 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 punch. Don't, no, 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 no. Why do you even try? We now have 14 ender pearls. We have 14 magical blaze powder, so we can combine that together in the magical crafting table, and boom, we have 14 eyes of the ender. Now we can take on the ender dragon. I also just realized I never named my little tiny dog. You'll be Lil Max. Lil Max, let's find the Ender Dragon. Uh, wait a second, Lil Max, I think we found it. Okay, this is another great opportunity to morph into Ghost Freak. Fingers crossed, ladies and gentlemen, please. Ghost Freak, yes! Now we can see if this is actually the right spot. Oh my gosh, it is, let's go! And now we can just run through the walls until we see the end portal. This is just so overpowered, I love it. Wait, I see it, it's literally right there. Look, I am inside of blocks right now. Let's run down here super fast, we'll break the spawner. I also just realized I could just go invisible so that no Wait a second. Lil Max? Lil Max is gonna be okay, buddy. Don't you touch Lil Max. All right, buddy. I guess this is it. You're gonna have to stay here. Because, because Beck Bro Pen 10 has to defeat the Ender Dragon. Let's do it! Okay, let's stay as Ghost Freak so that we can literally just fly around. And then we should just be able to destroy these. I think I can still use my bow and arrow. Yes, I can. Yes! I love it. This is just too easy. We'll break that. And then explode. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, the Ender Dragon still does a lot of damage to me. And I think we've done it. All the End Crystals have been destroyed by Ghost Freak. Okay, now what I want to do is go back down, and I don't think Ghost Freak is going to be the best alien to defeat the Ender Dragon. Okay, I'm going through the aliens now. There's a couple that we haven't been, so if you guys do want to see an episode two where I check out all of the aliens and also upgrade the Omnitrix, please leave a like. If this video can hit 20,000 likes in two days, I'll do it. But okay, in the meantime, let's see what haven't we become. Wait a second, is this Ben 10 Wolf? Wait, wait it didn't work, wait, why didn't it work? Please work. Yes, it did. No, I'm Rip Jaws. That's not what I want. Come on. I have no idea what alien I just morphed into. Oh, but he's strong. Okay, if I look into my inventory, I should be able to see it's a Transilian, which I believe might be Frankenstrike. I don't know. You guys will have to comment down below if I'm right. Wait, let's see. Wait, wait a second. I think it might be. What? I can electrocute everything. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to like spin it's not working. But wait, look at the damage. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, I gotta be really careful, though. I don't think that's the right alien to defeat the Ender Dragon with. Oh, the Omnitrix is ready. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I'm going for it. Wait, no, it didn't work. 
Come on, way big! I don't know. This could be a really good idea or a really bad idea. I'm a massive target now, but also I have a colossal punch and a cosmic ray. It does nothing! It literally just does nothing! Well, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna keep it simple. We're going with four arms. And I'm ripped, y'all. So flipping course. I will bite the Ender Dragon to death. Finally, we morphed into four arms. You're dead, Ender Dragon. Sonic Claw! Oh my gosh! Look at the punches! Oh. Did you guys just see how far the Ender Dragon flew up? This is it! Yes! Yes! We did it! We beat the Ender Dragon! As back from Ben 10! This is Minecraft, but I morph into a Ben 10 alien every 60 seconds. Some Ben 10 aliens are super strong, while others, well, not so much. Will I be able to beat Minecraft to unlock the ultimate Ben 10 alien? Let's find out. Guys, I need your help. My cow Bessie said, if you leave a like in the next three seconds with your left pinky finger, she'll summon in the Omnitrix. Oh my gosh, it worked! Something just fell out of the sky. Guys, check it out. It's the Omnitrix. Let's go grab it. Check this out, guys! We just morphed into our first alien! I'm pretty sure this alien's name is I Guy. Right now, we're only level 2. Over time, my Omnitrix should get stronger. But we can speed up the process by defeating some custom bosses. I am quickly running out of time. I desperately need some food, so we're gonna use our high beam ability! Oh my gosh! Oh no! That's one of the custom bosses. If I beat it, I should be able to get extra levels to upgrade my Omnitrix, and my aliens will get stronger. My time is running out. At the end of the 60 seconds, I'll turn into a brand new Ben 10 alien. Oh my gosh! They're everywhere! We're melting them with our lasers! We morphed into a brand new alien! One heart, one heart. We became Upchuck. This is not the alien that I want to be. Upchuck's secret ability is that he can eat anything. And then he can throw it up. I think he has explosions too. Yeah, he does. I only have 45 seconds left. Eat the block, 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 eat the block. You're doing great, buddy! I see the boss! Oh no! My time's running out! He's spawning in more minions! We gotta explode them! I picked up one of the masks. I only have 20 seconds left. I think I could use this to sneak up on Barako, though. 10 seconds! Let's try it out! Boom! We morphed it to another alien! I think we became Swampfire! Oh my gosh, he does so much damage! I'm getting lit up right now! No! I think we beat him! Let's go! We just got 10 levels from beating the boss. Thorn Trap is still locked, so we have to level up even more. Let's take this time to use our thorn darts and grab some food. One of our abilities is a vine grab. That's awesome! This is like fast food delivery. <laughs> also, I just realized that I'm pretty sure this isn't Swamp Fire. He doesn't have any fire abilities, so this has to be Wild Vine. It's been a while since I've watched Ben 10. And we became a new alien. We turned into a mummy. Comment down below what this alien's name is because I honestly forget. We have the ability to shoot out bandages that freeze all mobs. Wait, we're super strong. Okay, we only have 45 seconds to take advantage of this alien. Also, we can turn into bandages. We just shrunk down. Three, two, one. And we morphed into another alien. This one has to be Artiguana. It has a literal freeze breath ability. <laughs> I just froze that villager. We'll need to harvest some of these houses in order to get a crafting bench. Another 60 seconds just went by. I have no idea who this alien is. He has a bunch of different water abilities. And we can also fly. Okay, let's take advantage of that. This is awesome. We can use the power of water coming from my feet in order to propel my body through the sky. I love science. One of my new abilities is to trap mobs in giant bubbles. Now I can pop. I was flying through the air and didn't even keep track of our time. Oh! Did we just really become Alien X? Hey guys, long time no see. Give me control, please. This matter must be further discussed. All three of us must agree upon this. Motion denied. I'm trapped as Alien X. So for the next 60 seconds, I was stuck trying to get control of the Omnitrix. Finally, it's about dang time. Who did I become? Oh, snap, we're heat blast. Let's go. I can get some cooked meat. Boom, baby. We're still not a high enough level to fly as heat blast. I need to find another custom boss to kill. Just like clockwork, a mutant zombie just tried to end me. Let's use our flamethrower ability. Oh, yeah, look at that. Eat my flames. What does this do? I can shoot out fireballs. Hey, let's go. 
Oh my gosh! He just keeps coming! Die, 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 Oh, we got him! I don't have that much time left. We gained another eight levels by defeating the mutant zombie. It wasn't enough, though. I still can't fly. I did get this pretty cool hammer, though. I spent the rest of my time as he blasted getting as much food as possible. Thank you, bacon. That's a good pork chop. Oh, that smells good. Fake Bessie. My time ran out. What are my abilities? Whoa! I have lightning abilities! I think I became Frankenstein. Lightning. Oh, that was a that was a terrible idea. Why would I do that? No, as soon as I spawned in, I think I became Wild Mutt. I can't see anything. He can only see things by smell. Every time I spawn in now, I become a different Benton alien. Great, what am I now? Oh, this mutant skeleton does not like me. Oh my gosh. I'm going down into this hole. While I'm down here, let's turn my planks into a plank bench. Turn my planks into sticks. Turn my sticks into a stonk pickaxe. Find the cobble. Cobble pickaxe. We'll get some extra food. Grab our crafting table. And then we can fly out of here. I was able to find a village. Inside, we found some iron. We can use this to make a bucket. There's some more iron over here. And we can steal this poor villager's furnace. We just became a brand new alien. We're Arctic Guana again. That's okay. It doesn't really matter right now. We're just going to craft for a little bit. We'll upgrade to an iron pickaxe. And we can also make a bucket. Check it out, guys. Since we've been leveling up, we have brand new abilities. Frost wall. Oh, <laughs> that is cool. I waited the rest of the 60 seconds because I really need an alien that can fly. Who do we morph into this time? Oh, wait, it's Accelerate. Well, I was hoping for somebody that could fly, but this will have to do. We need to run around until we can find lava. We are zooming. I have 30 more seconds left. 15 seconds. Yes, we did it just in the nick of time. Oh, we morphed into Humongosaur. Increase size. Whoa, that is awesome. Let's grab some water. I'm too big. There we go. We can place that down and we'll magically have another portal in three, two, one. There it is, guys, and we just morphed into a different alien. We became Jet Ray. Wait, can I light the portal using his laser vision? Oh, I can! That's awesome! This is actually really good. We can fly around as Jet Ray until we find the fortress. Guys, check this out. We found one. We can use our Neuroshock Blast and also our Neuroshock Beam in order to collect our Blaze Rat. I also think that if I punch, I'm pretty powerful. <laughs> Okay, maybe not so much. The laser vision is way better. I didn't want to die, so I'm hiding in a corner. Don't judge me. 60 seconds is up, and we just turned into wrath. Oh, this is amazing. We are about to be so powerful. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Boom. We can even summon into his claws. Yeah. One more. That was perfect timing. We just became big chill and we can fly out of here. We still need more levels to level up our Omnitrix. What are you doing, boy? Freeze breath. <laughs> we could also turn so cold that we could just phase through blocks. There's one custom boss in particular that I'm looking out for. If I can kill it, I'll be able to max level my Omnitrix. I found it. I also morphed into a brand new alien. I have no idea who this is, but we're gonna have to test out some of his abilities. Like a big punch. Oh, he does so much damage. What about an earthquake? Whoa. Oh my goodness. My entire body just got deleted. Luckily, it didn't take too long to track another one down. I still have 30 seconds left with Diamond Head. We're gonna turn the Frost Ball into diamonds. Oh, this is bad. His entire body is slowing down. He's at half health. I only have 15 seconds left. 10. Oh my gosh. Five seconds. Yes, we got him. Perfect timing too. I just morphed into Ghost Freak. Since we beat it, we hit the max level. One of Ghost Freak's abilities is to possess mobs. What? That is insane. I just took over its body. Wait, guys, I have an idea. We can phase through blocks into a cave and then possess a creeper. <laughs> this is so evil. Oh, the creeper exploded. We just morphed into forearms. I have 60 seconds to beat this mutant enderman. I also have access to brand new abilities like an earthquake ability. Oh, that's awesome. I'm gonna go hide in this pond. I know he doesn't like ponds. Oh, I think we got him. No way. Let's go. How many ender pearls are we gonna get? Hopefully that's enough. We could turn our blaze rods into blaze powder. Turn them into magical eyes of the ender. And now we can find the end portal. This is it, guys. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I morphed into a very tiny alien. Let's see if I have enough. Ding, ding, dong. Yes. Let's go in. Guys, this worked out great. We just morphed it back into Jet Ray. That means I could go around and explode all of the end crystals using his Jet Ray vision. Got that one. Got that one. That one. That one. Bam. Boom, it goes through the iron bars. I only have 15 seconds left as Jet Ray. Wait, he's immune to Jet Ray's laser vision. Oh, that's not good. I only have five seconds left and I'm blind. Oh my gosh, let's go. We just turned into way bigger. I have a stop ability that just sent every mob flying. We're running out of time. Here we go, three, two, one, mega punch. Yes, we did it. And we turned back to normal.
A couple of days ago, a meteor fell out of the sky, and in it, I found Ben 10's Omnitrix. Here's how I did it. Hey, yo, Bessie! What's up, Bessie? So, Bessie, you know in the last video, you kind of said that you would upgrade the Omnitrix if I was able to beat the Ender Dragon. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you guys heard it here first. You need to leave a like with your wrist in order to recalibrate the Omnitrix and we're gonna upgrade it. Let's do it together in three, two, one. Wait a second, look at that. The Omnitrix turned blue. So, okay, I'm pretty sure this means it's in recalibration mode. Oh, wait a second, Bessie's doing it. Oh, what? I think we did it. The Omnitrix has now been upgraded. Uh, so let's see. What? We have holograms now. I am getting such nostalgia from this. Okay, so we have brand new god level Ben 10 aliens. We have Swampfire. This is Echo Echo. Humongosaur. Jet Ray. Chromastone. And we're back to Swampfire. Wait a second. I feel like there should be more. Wait a second. Okay. I think I figured out why. So when I recalibrated the Omnitrix, I was reset to level one. So in today's video, we are going to need to level up to level 30 to gain access to every single god level Ben 10 alien. So guys, the best way to level up as Ben 10 is to go around and beat Minecraft and also to beat up fake Bessies. Let's do it, Swampfire! I can't believe it. Okay, so we have a brand new set of abilities. Swampfire is almost like the upgraded version of Heat Blast. We have flamethrower abilities, pyrokinesis, where we could just light anything on fire, but we also have plant abilities so I can grow things around us and we can trap things in weeds. And then I can put you to sleep with a stun spore. Why are you not sleeping? Why am I on fire? Wait a second, I can one hit punch every single mob, except for the villagers. One, two, three, four. Who's at the door? Back bro, Ben 10. <laughs> When I unlocked a brand new ability, we have Fire Flight. All right, well, this has basically turned into my brand new favorite Ben 10 alien. And since I now have upgraded it, we have access to Master Control. So if I wanted to, I could immediately morph into Brainstorm. My forehead is so big. We have Electrokinesis. How? What? I did not realize that villagers turn into witches when struck by lightning. Don't worry, I will go and electrocute you. Did I electrocute myself? Okay, you didn't have to be rude about it. Well, we can also activate an electrical force field, so you can't touch me anymore, and I can touch you. Uh. <laughs> okay, so uh, it looks like this dude's not really as powerful as our first guy. Swampfire was just superior, but I can climb on walls, so <laughs> I guess that's pretty cool. I'm a little bit scared to get near this witch, so we're just gonna electrocute everything that we find. Why do I keep transforming things into different things? Wait a second, if I hold this down, I can actually electrocute things in front of me. Let's test out Echo Echo. Well, I got a lot smaller. My face is permanently in a downward frowning spiral. But we can use a sonic scream ability. Come here, Bacon. I want to scream in your ears. Hello, Bacon. Oh, wow. That is effective. Look at the... Look at it, dude. This goes crazy. I can also use echolocation. Wait, wait a second. I can see everything underground. And it does damage too. What else do I got here? Did I just split? I literally just split. This is like the Spider-Man meme. Wait, can I make more clones? I can. I can make infinite clones. Wait a second. Will they fight for me? Everybody get the bacon. Wait, every single time I clone, I didn't even realize, but I get smaller and smaller. Go get the bacon, my clones. They actually do it. This is amazing. I need more. I'm gonna have an entire army of Echo Echoes. And then I guess I could go and then absorb them all back. So I guess I need to be directly next to them. And then if I hit B, it looks like I absorb them all back into my body. Scream. <laughs> I just broke the chicken's eardrums. We also have one of my personal favorites, Humongosaur. Can I get even bigger? Yes, I can. I'm still going. I'm still getting bigger. We're just constantly getting bigger. This is crazy. Let's see. I have a ground smash ability where I just fart explosively. We have a powerful roar ability, which is basically like an upgraded version of Echo Echo's sonic wave ability. And then I can also use a full power punch. I don't really know why I'm testing it on this pig. I feel awfully bad for this small child of bacon. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna shrink back down to just slightly normal size. And Humongosaur is now going to be Humongo Bread Farmer because we are currently running out of food very, very quickly. 
When you're a giant dinosaur alien like myself, you need a lot of carbs in order to carb our load and get all the energy for the day. Let's shrink back down so we can go into the blacksmith and what, we have diamonds and iron? Oh, this is a beautiful sight. And we also have a cast for the infinity gauntlet. Ben 10 plus the infinity gauntlet. Wait, imagine if one of the aliens I could turn into was just Thanos because Thanos is technically an alien. We also unlocked a jet ray. Can I fly? Oh, yes, I can definitely fly. Wait, can I fly? I'm confused. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. Wait a second. This is crazy fast. Okay, we're gonna fly up here. I still haven't gotten any wood today, so we should probably do that. Zombie, I would not do it today. You are messing with Jet Ray. I can literally shoot lasers from my mouth and my eyeballs. Don't get any ideas, chicken. Okay, we can plop the wood in there. We can combine it together in a quadular formation. Put down the crafting table. Put the two pieces in there. Get those sticks. Put some iron up top. We got ourselves an iron pickaxe. We can also put in our carbs in order to turn it into bread. And now we can actually feed the god level Ben 10 aliens. I guess while we're here, it should be a good idea to get a sword, even though you really never see Ben 10 using a sword. Oh, there's an enderman down there. We can collect it in order to get an ender pearl for later. Hey, buddy. Oh, my gosh. I can literally demolish any mob. The ender dragon is about to get sliced. We should have stayed until the end of the video to see which alien I use in order to take down the ender dragon. Uh, I'm pretty sure eventually, by the end of today's video, I can also get alien X. I don't know if that's exactly a good idea or a bad idea, but I definitely need to test it out. Let's test out Big Chill. Wait, this guy looks amazing. So I completely forgot Big Chill can also fly with his giant blue ice wings, but Big Chill is also extremely chill in terms of temperature. He is able to freeze any mob, and then I can hit them with an ice blast. Wait a second, I just- Wait, it timed out? Wait, my Omnitrix can actually time out? I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm literally out here by myself. I'm just normal back pro Jack now. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. I'm gonna hide in this ice cube with you, buddy. Okay. Not my best idea. It looks like we're back in business. The next alien we can test out is Goop. <laughs> I forgot about Goop. So Goop is basically just like this slime ball that's controlled by this little tiny UFO thing that floats above its head. It can shoot out slime projectiles, which are apparently stupidly overpowered. What the heck, dude? It's killing the sheep in one single slime. Since we are basically made of slime, we can also just, I believe, go through walls. Yeah, it just, it, it's kind of slow and it's not very effective. And we could also polymorph into just a puddle. So when we are now in puddle formation, uh, look at it. I'm literally just a bunch of particles. So this will be really good if a mob's chasing me. I could just turn into a puddle and it will have no idea what's happening. And then wait a second, we also have slime flight. I can fly as a slime puddle? Oh yeah, because the thing above me, it's just moving me around. I forgot how overpowered the recalibrated Ben 10 aliens are. And would you look at that? We just stumbled across my good old friend Baracko. Okay, let's turn back to normal and now we can test out Nanomech. This is one of the smallest aliens, but since I'm super tiny, I should be able to sneak up on Baracko and then blast him. Never mind, never mind. I lied. I completely lied. He completely just found me and I'm completely gonna die. Okay, we're morphing back. We are morphing back. That was not a good alien to turn into. Back to the drawing board. Wait a second. Since we've been leveling up, we unlocked a brand new ability called the next playlist. Wait, I can turn back into Cannonball? There's also this little guy. I think his name is Upchuck. I did not mean to turn into him, but this is definitely Upchuck. So I can ingest anything around me in order to gain more power. And then I should be able to just spit out everything that I just ate. Oh, okay. I do a lot of damage, but I also take a lot of damage. Let's try something a little bit stronger, like Lodestar. I'm able to fly. We have Magnokinesis. Whoa, I can move any blocks. We have magnetic repulsion. It just throws mobs around. That is sick. And then we also have a force field ability where we can take no damage for a short period of time. And then I'm pretty sure this dude is also super powerful. Look at my punching abilities. Okay, let's use our force field. Look at that, the force field is absorbing all the hits. Wait, I just picked him up. I put him inside of a block. Look at him. <laughs> I can just pick him up and put him down in different spots. Come here, big boy. I just keep dropping him. Oh, that doesn't look good. I can also spam this ability. Magnetic repulsion. Oh, force field. The force field absorbed every single bit of that damage. Sorry, sir. I'm going to have to place you in the ground for now. Wow, that is insane. Wait a second. Somehow this man's gaining back health. And also, where did all of my items go? Did he steal all my items? What the heck? Oh, come on. He's so close to dying. We did it. Ben 10 is way too overpowered. I'm kind of hungry, so I'm going to need to get some chicken. Swamp Fire is going to be extremely good at this. 
Give me some chicken. We're just slightly roasting the chicken alive. What we can do is trap them all, and then we can just roast them all alive. Bessie would be so proud of me. It's like a barbecue. The Beck Bro Ben 10 barbecue. No juicy animal is safe from swamp fire. Well, we've pretty much become almost every single upgraded Ben 10 alien. That is, except for one, Alien X. Now, a lot of you guys were commenting in the last video that I should turn into Alien X. So today, we're gonna try it. In three, two, one. One. Uh, no, it's these two. I am Serena, the voice of love and compassion. And I am Bullicious, the voice of rage and aggression. Uh, you are the voice of reason. Uh, for us to use our power, three of us must agree. So I have three different options here. We can uh, try to work with them a little bit. We can also try to ask them questions or we could say, I don't care. And then we get control. The thing is, if we make these two angry, they can actually lock me in this dimension. Uh, so Serena and Belicious, this is, it's literally just like the TV show, if you guys are fans. I am getting a huge nostalgia trip right now. So let's ask, well, what can we do? We can do anything we ever imagined, uh, if we agree on it. Okay, so I need to figure out something that we can agree. Um, well, let's see if they can turn me back to normal. What about if I ask them to set the time today? They both just said no. They, they, they just said no. They just didn't even care. Well, how do I get back? You are one of three. We are the most powerful beings in the universe. Because we are the most deliberative. Well, then, can I go back? Let me turn back. No, no, we have debating for eternity. But now that you're here, we can finally settle something. We can't just let you leave. Wait a second. I don't want to be trapped here because I'm going to be trapped here forever. This is exactly what I was worried about. Uh, excuse me. Uh, how dare you speak to us this way, you insolent fool. No, 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 no. Uh, I, I'm currently getting attacked by something. There is a spider trying to kill me. Okay, I'm going to try to make them a little bit happier just so that they let me out. I'm very sorry. Guys, there is literally a spider that is biting my butt over and over again. Wait, it knocked me out of it. Yes. Yes. Thank you, spider. This is amazing. Guys, but we have a problem. It looks like the recalibrated Omnitrix has timed out. I don't really know if that's supposed to happen. It's back on and we're surrounded by Enderman. This is definitely a job for Fast Track. Fast Track is kind of almost like an upgraded version of Accelerate. I can go extremely fast on the track and we also do tons of damage. Okay, maybe not as much damage as I would, I would like to do. Okay, now I'm dead. But luckily I still have the Omnitrix forever. Wait a second, we have Wrath. Yes! This is my favorite. Let's go. Wait a second, we have a lava pool right here so we can actually use this in order to get to the nether. Wait, what are my abilities? Oh! I just smashed the ground and exploded everything. Uh, we also have these really cool looking claws on my hands. And since I'm a cat, I can climb things. And I think there's only one more alien that I have left to turn into, and that's rocks. Well, I can generate energy blades. We can activate a hover mode. I can generate an energy wall? What? Or oh, wait a second, I can generate a portal. Where does the portal go? Wait a second, I can add a dimension breach? A lava pool. And hold on, can I go through it? What? This is amazing, so I can I can just come back here whenever. As Jet Ray, we were able to find a desert temple super easily. And then if we morph into Lodestar, we should be able to move the blocks out of the way. Now we can collect all the iron in here. We can fly back out, and then we can easily craft ourselves a bucket in order to get to the nether. We got ourselves a bucket, and now we can morph into rocks, open the portal, and go all the way back to the lava pool. This is so stupidly overpowered, I love it. Let's morph back into Beckbro Ben 10. We can turn into Swamp Fire. And then we can light this puppy up. <laughs> it worked. You're not going anywhere, Mr. Pigman. We found the fortress. I don't really know why I'm taking fire damage. I am literally made out of flames. But I guess I'm also made out of plants, too. It's a very weird combination. We have seven blaze rods, that is enough. I am done fighting blazes. We're gonna turn them into the magical blaze powder of amazingness, and now we can fly our way back home to victory. Wait a second, I wonder, can we turn back into rocks? And can we generate our portal? No, we can't do interdimensional travel. I guess we'll slowly hover back to the portal. Wait, this guy can fly too? I thought he could just hover. Wait, this guy's actually stupidly overpowered. What? And if there's skeletons, I can just put up a wall and then I can take down the wall if I want. Not today, buddy. Behind the wall, go around the wall. The wall is gone. <laughs> These mobs have to be so confused. They've never seen an alien quite like this. And they've also probably never really seen many aliens before.
We have all the ender pearls we need, all the blaze powders. Let's plop them in there. We'll get the eyes of the amazing ender. Before I do anything else, though, I do want to try and unlock the full version of Alien X. Let's see how this goes. So that didn't work out, and I am now stuck here for three days. Well, after three days, I finally managed to escape, and we have found the end portal. Let's do this. First up, let's go around his swamp fire and destroy all of the end crystals. This is so easy, I love it. It even cuts through the iron bars. Now let's morph into Humongosaur. Let's get even bigger. Let's see how much damage we can do. Oh my goodness, yo! We just did half of its hearts. It's back for more, let's finish this. Wait a second, I have to do it as Wrath. Yes! Let's do this, baby! Ooh, we exploded it! My shockwaves did it! Wrath defeated the Ender Dragon. Today, my friends and I are playing as Ben 10 Aliens. We're going to be racing to see who can master the Omnitrix and gain every Ben 10 Alien to slay the Ender Dragon. Uh, be sure to tap the like button with your left elbow if you think I can do it. And be sure to watch until the end to see if I can. Back bro, Ben 10! Oh my, what is that? You're, oh, Humongosaur! You're a, dude, you're a big poop man! You're huge! Oh, hey, chill! <laughs> Good luck, boys! Chill. Stop chasing me! Alex, oh, Alex, run, 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 run. All right, boys, you're gonna want to right click down with your Galvin signal device to get your Omnitrix. You're starting out at level one. I'm starting out at a uh, level 10 with the recalibrated upgraded Omnitrix. I need it. Oh! <laughs> you, you're officially our enemy. Good luck, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Beck Bro Ben 10 Manhunt. I should probably transform back to normal. So Adam and Alec just got access to the original Omnitrix. By the way, if you guys missed my other videos on that, I'll leave a link to them down in the description. Now I, on the other hand, have access to the upgraded, recalibrated Omnitrix. That means I have Swamp Fire, I have Echo Echo, we also have Humongosaur, and Jet Ray, who I'm going to become right now so that I'm able to skedaddle as fast as possible. <laughs> this is sick. Let's go see if we can find the boys. What's up, suckers? Oh, 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 oh my god, Jet Ray, Stop. boys! I'm <laughs> He's flying! So they only are going to have access to a few aliens like Heat Blast and Forearms. I, on the other hand, have access to over 10 different upgraded Ben 10 aliens. All right, but we're still gonna need to do some basic Minecraft things. So let's go over here and we're gonna go burn these cows. We shall use our Neuroshock Blast. <laughs> And also some energy blasts. If you guys do enjoy and do it to see more manhunts in the future, definitely smash like with your entire heel. Also, if you guys believe that aliens do exist, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you don't believe aliens exist, then I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Like the chances of aliens actually existing are pretty high. But at the same time, we'll never know. And also I have no idea if Ben 10 aliens actually exist. So let's see my different abilities as a Ben 10 alien. Right now I'm a Aerophibian. I'm not quite maxed out out on my levels yet. So throughout today's episode, we will be leveling up to level 30 to unlock new aliens and new abilities for our aliens. I also have master control with the recalibrated Omnitrix so I can continue to transform into every single alien. Let's go test out Brainstorm. Brainstorm is going to be super effective. I'm able to create a force field around my body. So if Dirt Boy or Alec come nearby, we should just be able to fly away. Or we can shoot him with a cosmic ray. What other aliens do I have here? Wait, we have Alien X. I don't know if I want to turn into Alien X because I'll probably get stuck in the Alien X dimension. So let's go ahead and morph into Swamp Fire. That should allow us to fly wherever we want. We're not quite as fast as Jet Ray, but that's okay. Now, we still need tools. I don't think any of my aliens can actually turn their fists into usable tools, but they are extremely powerful. Give me the stone. Wait, I see them. I see them. They're way over there. What are they doing over there? Oh, I see someone flying. Oh, these guys do a lot. These guys do a lot of damage. Wait, did they find Baracko the Sun Chief? Let's go see if we can fight Baracko. Oh no, I ran up my fly ability. <laughs> Why are we fighting? It's so much grass. Oh, I accidentally burned all of Baracko. I am so sorry, Baracko. These little minion people stand no chance. I'm able to one hit KO all of them. Come here, you little idiots. Let's go try to just punch Baracko to death. I do so much damage, it's insane. Plus, I don't take any fire damage because I am literally made out of flames. We took him down. 
Oh no! No 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 no! Oh, he's flying away! He's flying away! That is not fair! This is he can fly there! He can fly away! Oh, it's not full! He's shooting! Oh my God! Where is he? He's invisible! Wait, he's in! I'm getting him! Dude, he's flying! Sam, I'm literally flying right here! Get away from me! I'm gonna try to get I'm shooting! Right back at you, baby! How do you fly? Right back at you! No! Oh, get him! Our, our tribe, our friendly tribe, let's kill him! <laughs> that is not a friendly tribe! I literally killed big boy Baraka! Later, second. Oh my gosh! I'm on him! I'm oh on him! Oh my gosh! Him. No, 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 not today, not today. I think I lost him, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta move, we gotta move, we gotta move. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is figure out how to get obsidian. So we either need to find a village or we need to find some sort of cave system where I can get some iron and then we need to get into the nether. Oh, perfect! It's a village! Yo, I ain't got him! Hello! You want to fight an alien? Why, hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today in the coffee shop? Why are you standing inside of blocks? It's kind of weird. You guys happen to see the uh, local dude around here? The, the guy that I can punch in the nose and he'll give me some iron. If not, I will steal every single plant that you guys have. What was that? <laughs> Adam burned to death. What happened, dirt boy? I, I killed him. Kill <laughs> you actually killed me. I was testing out my abilities on him and accidentally killed him. You guys are so dumb. Ooh, look at that. We got ourselves a temple. It is so cool to be able to fly around the Minecraft world like a god. Okay, let's see what we can find down here. We have bones. We can get ourselves a wolf army. A couple more bones. We have gold. No iron. Whoa. Hello, my friend. Yo, who is ah! this? Die! Stupid <laughs> check! Ow! Ow! Why are you hitting me Alex, with a pickaxe? Alex, why would you charge him? Get out of here! I'm getting him! I'm getting him! You're not getting anything! Uh, yes, I am! Wait, I'm getting you! Ow! Go away! <laughs> don't die, don't die, don't Wait, die. you're so fast! Oh no, I'm stuck no! in the water! He's in the water! Ah! Where is he? No, 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 no. Who are you, stink fly? Adam! Charge him without me! I'm dragging him down. Die! My stupid arm oh, is broken. <laughs> I'm just like shooting slime at him. It's not even doing anything. This is insane, dude. How are where, you flying so are fast? You? I don't know. I'm speeding in Jonas. Eat my slime. Eat I need my to transform. slime. Transform. Oh, he, he's, he's nobody. I can wait. I can kill. Oh, no. I'm Humongous whore. Oh, my God. Hey, he's hey, giant. Hey, ah, hey, go hey. away. Go oh, away! Wait, okay, this is actually working. Stomp on him! Stomp Alex. on He's him! Too big. Alex. He can't really even hurt me! Oh, oh my gosh! That was sick! We were able to punch him in one single hit with Humongous Or. I used my full power punch ability and it was extremely effective. Okay, now that we bought ourselves some time, we should be able to morph back into Beck Bro Ben 10. I didn't realize they were so close to me, so we need to figure out a alien that we could be to get a little bit further away. Let's test out Big Chill. Oh, I forgot Big Chill is able to fly just like Jet Ray. We're not quite as fast, but we also have a ton of freezing abilities. Wait, we can also phase through blocks. This will be a great way to find iron. It was a great way to find iron. If the boys get close to me, I can literally just phase through blocks. Wait, we've also leveled up quite a bit. We're already at level 26. I think the max level we can become is level 40. And when that happens, every single one of my Ben 10 aliens will be unlocked. And I'll get even more aliens. Ooh, freeze the creeper. Explode the creeper! What are you doing? Get out of here! I don't have time for pets. What are you? Oh, what is happening? Okay, they're doing a lot of damage to me. I do not appreciate this one bit. I'm gonna fly all the way back up to my furnace. Literally half a heart right now. If they find me, I am dead. We have enough iron. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go cook our beef. Oh, wait, that has to be them. Last time they did that, it was Alec. I can use Big Chill's cryo phasing ability to hide inside blocks. And I can also see everything around me. This is amazing. Wait, they're right above me. We gotta move. We'll grab our beef and we'll get the heck out of here. They have no idea I'm able to phase through blocks. And I'm also able to fly. So all I have to do is get back to the surface. Big Chill is so weak. Oh no, my Omnitrix timed out. This is bad. This is literally the worst case scenario whatsoever. I need to figure out a way to hide. My Omnitrix shouldn't be timed out for long since it's the upgraded recalibrated version. There we go. It's back. Okay, who do I need to morph into? Oh, change, change, change. Big chill, big chill, big chill, big chill. Okay, now we need to cryo phase our way all the way out of here. We're just slowly going back up to the surface. This is amazing. Wait, is that them? I see particle effects, but I can't see anything else. This is bad. Come on. I'm going this way. I'm going this way. Wait, I see them. What's up, boys? <laughs> oh, no, he's flying away. He's flying away. Get out. Get no, out, get out. I just got in the yes. cave. What's Darn up, it. boys? Oh, I just killed myself. What? Oh, wait, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Oh, wait. No, no. you're not, you scrub. Why would you tell me to be a small dude, Alec? I did it. I said I'm being a small dude. Adam was... 
<laughs> the smallest guy. That was a close call. I knew that they were there, but I didn't know that they had access to even more aliens. Uh, that means that they're still leveling up. If they get access to some of the more powerful Ben 10 aliens like Diamond Head, we might actually have an issue by the end of today's video. We're going to go ahead and transform back into Beckbro Ben 10. We need to become somebody that is able to just stomp on these chickens. Wait, I just realized too, because I've been leveling up, I unlocked a completely new playlist. Let's use cannon bolts. Yes, we can just run over chickens and collect all of our KFC. What a beautiful day not for chickens but for me yo what is Die, this Jack. i will run you over oh. buddy uh, i will jump nah, over nah, you nah, and nah, dip nah, and dodge nah, nah, and dip nah, and dodge nah, nah, nah. and dip and dodge i'm in cannonball form no. i take no damage from you that's, a, that's okay i just gotta get in the tree and then you can't touch me ah that one <laughs> i'm literally just trying to squish chickens and get kfc so i can get some food what do you guys want I just want to kill you. Like that is that too much wait, to wait, ask? Wait, Alec, Alec. Ah! I see him! Ah! Get him! Oh, we charge creepers! Ah! Get him! Oh my gosh, I took no damage from that! Ow! Hey, go Alec, get over here! Go, get over here! Ah! He's gonna kill me! Alec! Yes! Alec! Alec. <laughs> Where's the other one? You're so useless, Adam. I gotta distract you. Whoa. Oh my gosh, you're literally using diamond walls. Yeah, what's up? Not you a problem for Beck Pro Cannon Mode. Oh my gosh, why are you so powerful? <laughs> Am I doing any I damage? Literally, I literally take no damage when I'm in this form. This is sick. Wait, that's OP. Okay. What? Oh crap. We better run, Diamond Boy. Oh, oh my you're gosh. not dead. I've literally been running into Di your butt oh, for okay. like a day. Wait. Uh oh. I found Wait, his this weakness. is my weakness. Oh no. No. That actually does Get a lot of damage. Him. Yes, 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 yes. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Later, boys. Okay, Alec, we gotta get him in the water when he's in that state. We must escape, ladies and gentlemen. This is not looking good. Uh, I need to morph back. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna morph into swamp fire so I can fly away. Later, suckers. No, don't Bye. fly away, nerd. <laughs> don't worry, he won't get far. Well, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. So we're gonna go away and then we're going to try to get to the nether. I'm running out of fuel, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go down here. We need to morph back. Come on. Okay, okay, I need to morph into somebody a little bit quicker. So we're gonna go ahead and bring Bring it out, Jet Ray. Let's get the heck out of here. Yes, we finally found lava. We need to be super, super fast. They're probably right behind me. No! Back up, boys! Attack! <laughs> oh, we're so close! Get away from ah! me! Alec, give me a second. Ah! <laughs> He's flying away! I need, I need really pulley. I need really pulley. Is he flying? Yeah, he's no, flying. no, 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 no. Die, no! Jack! We were one block away! I need to escape. There's no way that I'm gonna be able to get back there. I need to go around and then maybe we'll be able to come back later. Are they here? Are they here? I see them. We're, we're going back, we're going back. Wait, this is our chance. They're not They're not here. Okay, we're gonna put this down. Put that down. Okay, we have it complete. I need to delete these blocks. I need to transform. Die! No! The only way to get there is going to be to fight them. Okay, he's heat blast right now, so I should be able to go in the water over here. We can morph back, and then we're gonna go ahead and transform into Swamp Fire. Swamp Fire should be a little bit more powerful. We're so close to getting again then we can escape go 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 yes we're gonna get it oh There's crap later oh. losers no we made it through <laughs> i didn't see him we're coming no. dan you better watch out we need to find another fortress fast wait we found a fortress but they're here too that means they're not gonna be super far behind me where are the blaze rods we need to find the blaze rods asap so that i can skedaddle oh we also got a sword yes here's the blaze spawner okay now that i'm here hold on i need to go ahead and we're gonna morph into humongousaur no wait are they on me we gotta go quicker ladies and gentlemen let's morph into humongousaur <laughs> Why, hello there, boys. And so we meet again, my friend. How Whoa, you doing? What is that? Oh. Eat my dust. Eat my dust. Ow, ow, oh. ow, ow. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the stupid <laughs> thing. Ow, ow, I'm right there. Ow, ow. You're oh, dead. Adam, you stand no I'm chance there, you monkey sword. Oh, my gosh. He's so good. Blast him at him. Blast him at him. Bro, he's so good. Ow. Yes, ow. one down. I'm lasering him. I think I got to keep my distance. I will scream at you. No, get away from me. Oh, I'm lasering him. No, 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 no. No, 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 where? I'm lasering this dude. I literally Six. can't see him. Okay, okay. We got to think. We got to think. We got to think. Hold on. Any last words, Adam? Oh, no. He can fly. I got to get out of here. <laughs> I just got to distract Bob and Weave. What do I use? What do I use? Okay, Magno Telekinesis. This is, I don't even know how to use this alien. Hold on. Oh, Adam. What's up? What's up? How much <laughs> health do you have? 
<laughs> Lots I think of I've been hitting you all game. Oh no, he's doing some kind of sonic wave. These blazes will not chill. You better run. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. <laughs> Where are dude? You just keep lighting me on fire. Get away from me. <laughs> this is I can't move. I'm like a bug. I won't go away. I'm out of here. Okay. Bought myself some time. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. Look at my health. Okay, I think I just transformed into rocks. You can get out energy blades to do extra damage. You can generate a wall. Wait, you just died? No! <laughs> no he way. got mad at me for you killing me, and then he dies to a zombie pigman. <laughs> Let's go! Come on, dude. Now I can actually kill my blazes in peace. No, 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 no. Nice try, blazes. We have 12 blaze rods. That should be way more than enough. I had no idea. Let's get the heck out of here. We made it back into the overworld. The last thing we have to do is get all of the ender pearls, and then we can head to the end dimension and defeat the ender dragon. Uh, Howdy, how's it going, Mr. Enderman? I'm just gonna slow down and steadily burn you to death with my jet ray vision. Please do not teleport away. Make this easy on me. Well, we have our first ender pearl of many. That should be the last ender pearl that we need. We have 15. Wrath was literally the perfect alien to defeat all of the endermen. He's extremely powerful. I can one hit any mob in Minecraft. Now we just combine the pearls with the magical blaze powders and now we get the eyes of the ender and we can beep up our Wii all the way to the end dimension. We should be directly over the stronghold. Let's actually morph back into Beckbro Ben 10 and I think this is a good spot to use Big Chill. Let's do it. Now I should be able to use my cryo phasing in order to go deep below the surface and figure out exactly where the end portal is. Let's see if this will work. Yep, we're going down. I see it. I literally see see it we found it let's go now we just have to find the portal room your portal over here i don't see any portals wait they're right there they're literally right here i need to stay inside of the blocks wait the portal room is right over here we need to go very 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 slowly and make a break for it go 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 no no why are they doing this we did it we're inside that's right idiots i did it i did it <laughs> Good luck, boys. They have no idea where the portal room is. Okay, I am moving way too fast as Big Chill. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna morph back into Beckbro Ben 10. I think Swampfire is probably the best alien for the job. I can use my flamethrower ability to blow up all of the end crystals. And then we should be able to one hit the Ender Dragon with Humongousaur. This is the last end crystal. We did it. Let's transform back and bring out Humongousaur. <laughs> what did you do, Adam? I turned into a giant when I was in the, looking for the portal. <laughs> oh, the Ender Dragon is going down. Yes! Oh my gosh, We dude. gotta go Come out. here, Ender Dragon! Adam, shut your mouth. You stink. <laughs> Guys, have 10 seconds before I kill no, it. No, 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 I, dude, I literally cannot find this stupid oh. portal for the life of me. Oh, come on. Why can't I hit it? We're so close. It's halfway down. No one flew away. There's yes. so many doors. You guys struggling a little bit there? Oh my gosh, it's a lost cause. Come on down. Mr. Dragon, it's your time to die. Stop flying away! Wait, you guys are here? Oh, no, 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 no. What's up, bro? What's Take up, bro? Out. Get away! Die! <laughs> die, you stupid big boy. Why is the thing? Ender Dragon still flying? Get away from me, I'm die. Humongousaur! Die. Uh, Get out of here! Um, <laughs> I literally have three hearts. Where are What's you? What's up, bro? What's up? Oh, it's Why hard is to miss you, man. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! What's Back up, up there, bud! You have a laser beam? Yeah, you're not, up, you're no chance. You stand no match for a humongousaur. I can get I big even, too. I, I can't even hit you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have a laser beam. Oh, you're dead. You're mine. The Ender Dragon. I just need to kill the Ender Dragon. I don't even want to worry about you. Oh, no, 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 no. Get you're over here. Me. Explode. I have three hearts. I have three hearts. Where no. are you? No. Yes. No. Humongousaur. Adam, no. no. It's just me and the Ender Dragon, boys. No. Oh, I had it. I don't Not like this! So low. That's it. No, it has one health! Kill I'm about to die! Ender Dragon can still kill, kill him! Kill him. Dragon. Kill kill dragon. Dragon. You're mine, Ender Dragon! Yes! No! 
In today's video, I found the Omnitrix and became Ben 10. Apprentice, apprentice, wake up already. We have work to do. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Uh, for a little guy, he sure is a big temper. Asmuth said, I heard that. Meet me in the lab and be quick about it. Meet Asmuth in the lab. I think this is the lab up here. Yeah, this has to be Asmuth. Oh, <laughs> yo, wait, it's Ben 10. It's, it's, yo, it's everybody. He said, well done. Nice of you to finally join me. Max said, Asmuth, care to introduce us to your friend? Oh, right. Yes, this is my apprentice. While they're lacking in time management skills, they have been surprisingly attentive and, dare I say, helpful at times. Why, thank you very much, Asmuth. Ben said, nice to meet you. The Ben Tennyson at your service. This is sick. Gwen said, show off. Huh? Oh, and this is my cousin Gwen and Grandpa Max. Yes, I know who you guys are. Oh, I can't believe Team Tennyson is really here. I mean, honestly, I, I cannot believe it. This is insane. He said, yes, yes, intergalactic heroes. Can we please get back on track? The new Omnitrix prototype is ready for its trial run. Dude, wait, is this it? What now? Uh, Ben, what did you do? Warning. Power surge detected. Um, wait, is this the Omnitrix? Did that thing just say null void? There's no time to explain. Hurry, we will. We must normalize levels before. Too late. Too late. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I think we just opened up a rift. Let's see what Ben can do. Oh, never mind. I don't think he has this, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? And they just got sucked up. No way. Wait, how did he even get sucked up? How, wait, what? Is he just too big? Asmuth, come on, fix it. The reactor levels are back to normal. Okie dokie. What just happened? Asmuth, you have 10 seconds to start explaining what just happened. Happened. He said, I'm still working that out. Here we go. It looks like there was a power surge in the Omnitrix. This then destabilized the prototype null void projector I've been experimenting on. With the influx of power, the projector created multiple portals all over the world. It appears as though it both pulled things in as well as spitting others out. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, Max, uh, I'm kind of with you. How do we get them back? If we pull them back now, it could do more damage. They're more than capable of dealing what's in there. Right now, we have more immediate concerns. Like what? What, what, are, what, what are we concerned about exactly? Exactly, ladies and gentlemen. As Muth said, I'm detecting multiple strands of alien DNA that leaked out from the Omnitrix. Okay, me and Uncle Max are gonna round up the DNA. He said, it's no easy task, I'm afraid. The geography of your world has been completely rearranged. Apprentice, I need you to step up. I guess that's me. Asmuth said, I recalibrated the Omnitrix. Get out of, get, 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 get out there and find that DNA before it's too late. Uh, well, are, are you, are you sure it's gonna be okay? He said, oh, don't worry, kid, we'll get the bag. As much as I hate to admit, they're used to this kind of thing. Here, take this communicator. We'll be in touch when you're close. Now, get going. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of Ben 10. What? Yo, hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Wait, can I actually transform into aliens? It looks like I don't know any of the aliens. What happens if I just morph into one? Can I, can I, can I punch it? Forearms is locked. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have to unlock the different aliens. We have Crystal Fist, Rush, Quad Smack, Jet Ray, Heat Blast, Diamond Head, Shock Rock, and I'm sure a ton of other ones. Bessie sent me here in order to help Asmuth, who I guess I'm going to be apprenticing under. The coolest thing is I got my very own Omnitrix. Now I was supposed to meet up with Ben, Gwen, and also Uncle Max, but I guess uh, Ben and Gwen have been abducted by the Null Void Projector. Yeah, this is not really how I saw the day going, ladies and gentlemen, but I'm honestly really excited that I got to meet Ben 10. Uh, investigate the pier. There's chaos on it. Okay, he's gonna drop me off. What? That's the van! It's the van! Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you guys have watched Ben 10, but I am a massive fan, so this is just gonna be an entire video of me fanboying right now. Oh my gosh, wait a second. We unlocked forearms. Okay, let's not use it quite yet. I don't know if I have master control on my Omnitrix, so I need to be really, really careful about when I transform into the different aliens. Seems like everything's fine at the pier right now. These people seem perfectly normal. Let's go check out the fun fair pier. What? is in the center right there. Dude, is that just a clown? What's she doing? What's she think about? Okay, all right, we're gonna go in and I think this is about to be crazy Zombozo. Come one, come all. Welcome to the most wondrous, utterly incredible show on earth. Hey, Zombozo, I know you have some alien DNA. Please give it back to me, buddy. <laughs> ha ha ha, oh my, that's a good one. Uh, wait, you're not joking, are you? If you want the DNA, you're going to have to come and get it. Don't worry, Zombozo. Uh, you, you probably, yeah, you probably don't want to fight me because I have the ability to turn into forearms. Let's go. Yo, wait, he does a lot of damage. We're gonna, we're gonna, okay, I have forearms, dude. I'm not even worried about this, dude. Okay, never mind. He's doing actually a lot of damage. You have seismic clap. Let's try this. Let's also try get debris. What does that do? Can I pick up blocks? Oh my gosh, wait, let's throw the blocks at him. Yo, it works. Let's throw another one. <laughs> This is sick. Okay, never mind, never mind. Not, not, not sick. He's chasing me around. Let's try out. Okay, throw debris. Let's, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna throw it at him. I think, I think it worked. I barely done any damage to him. Okay, wait a second. He's tired. So any, anytime he gets tired, that's when I'm able to actually damage him. Stab it. Stab it, Zombozo, Zombozo. Okay, okay. We're gonna just have to get, get, get him just really, really, really tired out. And then we're gonna have to go in with a seismic clap. Nice try, Zombozo. Okay, this one he's tired and seismic clap. Boom. Wait, look at my watch. Was no, 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 no. I'm not looking at your watch. I am not about to be hypnotized by somebody named Zombozo. Oh my gosh. Dude, he just 
just <laughs> threw a bowling pin at me. Is he tired yet? Is he? Get, can, can, can you get just a little bit more tired, please? Stop trying to throw bowling balls at me, please. His laugh is creeping me out, ladies and gentlemen. I don't like it. Oh, he's tired. He's tired. Okay, okay. We're gonna try to do another seismic clap. Boom! Yes! Do not hypnotize me. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to look at it. He literally wants me to look at him hypnotizing me. Oh my gosh. Wait, where is he? Okay, dude. He's literally running full speed at me right now. He's teleporting around too. This is crazy. Okay, okay. Stay back. This guy is actually insane. He needs to be in a mental institution. Okay, this is my chance. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, seismic clap. Boom. Yes, that does so much damage. I don't think I'm able to damage him unless he gets slowed down. So I don't want to get accidentally too close. And then he's just going to sucker punch me or like maybe squirt some things in my eyes. Hey, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Seismic clap. Seismic clap. Objective. Pick up the DNA. We did it. We got the seismic clap off. Is it DNA over here? Give me the DNA now or else I'm going to punch you. Wait, what, what is this? What just happened? Whoa. Whoa. I can do a seismic jump. Wait, that is sick. I got to do that again. Three, two, one. Jump. Yo. That's awesome. Well, I don't want to use up all of my Omnitrix's power. So let's go ahead and morph back into Beck Bro Ben 10. It looks like the DNA is right over here. Let's go ahead and collect it. Did it work? Oh my gosh, wait a second. We got the DNA of Accelerate. Let's go ahead back to Uncle Max. I'm guessing he probably knows where the rest of the DNA strands are. Wait, can I just use... Oh my gosh, wait a second. I can go right into the next alien. So it looks like I actually might have somewhat master control. There we go. As Accelerate, I am way faster. I can dodge left. I can dodge right. Wait, Kevin? Well, 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 what do we have here? Who am I? I'm Kevin Levin. The question is, who are you? Doesn't matter. Well, okay, it kind of does. I heard you're looking for DNA. If you want it, you better prove yourself. Defend yourself from Kevin? What? Dude, nobody told me I was going to have to fight Kevin Levin. I literally just got, got done fighting a psycho clown, and then this guy just comes out of nowhere? Don't worry, I have a tornado ability. That's fine. Tornado ability, it, it was not as cool as I thought it would be. Luckily, I am way faster than Kevin Levin. Look at it. Look, at, I, can, like, I can literally just run circles. I can also dodge left and right. I have a boost ability, too. My gosh, that makes me even faster. Let's dodge left. There we go. He didn't even get a hit off. I'm able to hit much faster, too. This is sick. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Go. I'm just spam clicking. Dude, Kevin Levin is actually garbage. Look at him. He, I mean, he has like the power of forearms, and it looks like he's combined with another alien as well, but he doesn't seem like the normal Kevin Levin. Oh my gosh, look at the tornado. It just took him to outer space. Let's use our boost ability so he can't catch me, and then we're just gonna punch him to death. Look at it. Look at it. I can literally just run circles around him. He said, I lost. Here, take the DNA. I got another DNA. Let's see what this alien is. He unlocked Wrath. Nice. X said, you have now unlocked Accelerate and Wrath. They'll help you get along uh, or around the world. I'll handle things here. You'll need to find more of the DNA and clean this mess up. Asmuth on the comm said, Apprentice, I have located a possible site with DNA. Could you see it? Let's go back out of the fair and see if I can locate the next DNA. Before I do that, though, I want to morph into Wrath. Okay, let's use our Omnitrix here. We'll go right, right. Yes, this is one of my favorite aliens. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do want to see an episode two, please go ahead and demolish the like button. Make sure you do it with your pinky finger. If you don't do it with your pinky finger, it won't work. So this is Wrath. I have what appears to be a roar ability. That's awesome. We also have a slash ability, which probably does so much damage. And then a climbing ability. Let's try to use that. I don't really know if I'm just doing it wrong, but it doesn't seem like the climb ability is uh, super effective here. Every other ability works out great, but when I try to climb, my, my, yeah, my character, Wrath, just does not want to climb this building right now. Let's go see if we're able to morph right into to accelerate. I can. That is amazing. Uh, okay, now we need to head towards the DNA. This way. Uh, what is it? Is it, is it in this building? Do I need to go inside of this building? Oh, no, wait a second. It's right up here. Okay, we made it. Each alien has specific abilities. You need Wrath to climb this building. Interact with bricks to climb. Okay, so I can only do it on bricks. It literally has his face popping up. Okay, okay. We're going to use our Omnitrix, right? And place it down. We need to scroll over to Wrath. Now, since these are concrete bricks, we should be able to use our climbing ability. Oh, wait a second. I see. Okay, so if I hit on these tiny little stone bricks and normal bricks, that is how I can climb. I thought I was just going to literally walk up the entire building. It seems like it's working though. We just need to go left, right, left, and I think we made it to the top. Is there a way to pull myself up? Yes, I did it. This is the cell tower, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make sure I have my slash ability at the ready. Steam Scythe. What's up, buddy? Okay, defeat the mechanoids. Yo, there's so many. Let's roar. Does that do anything? Yes, it actually damages them. Let's go. Oh, this is amazing. This is amazing. Why would they fight a giant alien tiger like myself? Disable the bomb. Wait, who put down a bomb? Where's the slash ability? Where's the bomb? Where's the bomb? Where did this dude just put a bomb? Slash. We need to slash through. Slash through. Slash through. Come on. Slash through. Yes. 
Yes, okay, I did it. Uh, disable the bomb. Do I need to slash again or do I roar at the bomb? Maybe I roar at it. I roared at the bomb. We saved it. We saved it with a roar. Max said, great job. Head to the other towers. Hey, where are the other towers? Wait, are these all the different towers? Okay, let's go ahead and we're gonna go back into accelerate. That might make this a little bit quicker. I might be able to make this jump. Let's try it. Nope, I did not make that jump. Luckily, aliens don't take fall damage. It looks like Steam Smythe is over here. Okay, we need to morph back into Wrath. Come on, come on, come on. We gotta go a little bit quicker than I've been doing. Okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, we're gonna go up here. Just keep going. Oh my gosh, we gotta go right, really? Okay, up here and then left and then up. Come on, dude, this is why, why am I? I feel like I'm doing parkour, but I'm not. I'm just climbing. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I gotta go just a little bit faster, just a little, little bit faster. Come on, come on, Jack. You can do this. Focus, focus. Come on, Wrath. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it, ladies and gentlemen. And then up and then one more. Did I do it? Jump. What are you doing? Why are you planting bombs? Can we talk about it? Can we, can we, can we just maybe talk about it? Disable the bomb. How is he teleporting? How is this man doing that? Okay, defuse the bomb. All right, we're gonna use our slash ability to slash through his stupid defenses. And then we're just gonna roar at the bomb to disable it. Everybody knows that's exactly how you disable bombs. You scream at them. Can we need to reach the next cell tower? It looks like it might be right here. Okay, this time, instead of climbing up, I'm gonna, wait, can I, can I morph into accelerate, please? Hopefully this works. I'm gonna just go for it. Okay, we're gonna use our boost ability and three, two, one, jump. No, we were literally so close. <laughs> it turns out that wasn't even the right building, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I know that he's gonna probably blow up the building with bombs, but I could really use this. Okay, uh, can I, can I even get it? Can I, can I, okay, there we go, there we go. Yes, okay, back to the bombs. All right, we need to use our Omnitrix. Let's three, two, one, wrath. There we go. Okay, we're gonna use our climbing ability. Back to the climb, back to the climb. I'm now a professional rock climber. I found you again. I'm gonna slash you, man. I can't, oh, dude, I literally can't even punch him. That's fine, though. His little mechanoids stand no chance against the giant tiger that is Wrath. Let's go ahead and we're gonna roar them all to death. We're gonna sing you guys with those songs. Slash ability and three, two, one, roar ability. Did it work? Oh my gosh, wait, these things are a little bit more difficult than the last ones. Wait, there's no bombs here. Oh, wait a second, we got here fast enough. There was no more bombs. Okay, I think this should be the last cell tower. I think we can just jump down right on top of it. This better be the last building that I need to climb up, ladies and gentlemen. My arms are starting to get a little bit tired. There we go, there we go. Uppy duppy duppy. Did I make it? I made it. This is the last straw, you giant fat pirate. You're done. You're done. No more. He said, how have you beaten me here? Impossible. Well, I am indeed a giant climbing tiger. Speed baffles me. This makes no sense. My plans were meant to be unsinkable. Defeat the mechanoids. Okay, I've defeated so many of your mechanoids. I don't even care about your mechanoids any longer. They are pretty cool looking. But I am going to bust them up and I'm going to sell them for scrap metal. There we go. I'll give I'll give all these to Rodney. Maybe he'll like them. Disable the bomb. Okay, well, you're just going to stand there while I just able the bomb. That's fine. That's fine. That's totally cool. I'm just going to roar at the bomb. Totally easy. I've had enough of this nonsense, Mr. Mr. Smythe. My plans, my mechanoids, my mutton chops. You've ruined it all. Well, you'll, you'll have uh, pl plenty of times to fix your mutton chops where we're sending you, which is probably jail. Also, apparently you have a DNA that I've been looking for, so give me that back, sir. Where's the DNA? Did you poop it out? I don't see any of his DNA. Oh, there it is. We got it. We unlocked Slapback. Uncle Max says, hey kid, we've had reports of an apartment block on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to move. If you guys missed out on the last episode, we basically took down an evil pirate, an evil clown, and also Kevin Levin. Before we ended off, there was an apartment building that was on fire, so I need to get there as fast as possible. Let's go ahead and transform into Accelerate. Okay, we should just be able to jump down. Ben 10 takes zero fall damage, and I don't understand how or why. All right, so the magical compass will tell me exactly where to go. It looks like it's in this direction. The fire department is supposedly busy with other things. I don't know if they're just baking cookies for the day or if there's a lot of fires happening in the Ben 10 city, but it does not matter because the Beck Bro Ben 10 fire department is inbound and we are going to demolish any fire in sight. I don't know exactly how I'm going to take down the different uh, fires because I don't really have any aliens that are going to be able to help me, but this person looks like they're dying. It's, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Citizen, just calm down. Take like, take a chill pill. Watch out guys coming through. Beck Bro Accelerate is going to, uh, how do I put out this fire? How, does, that, does anybody know how to put out fires? I don't really have any aliens to put out fires. Wait a second. What if I, what if I uh, use a tornado? Tornado Tornadoes, that'll actually probably, wait, it worked. I thought it might accelerate the fire because air kind of like, you know, makes fires bigger. But supposedly a tornado is enough of, <laughs> of a wind burst in order to stop the fires. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm supposed to do. Oh wait, I'm supposed to rescue the residents. Okay, I'm not even worried about the fire. I'll leave that to the fire department. We need to find these citizens fast. This entire building is going up in flames. The worst thing that could happen is that I would lose some citizens. Okay, okay, we're not gonna let that happen though, ladies and gentlemen. We are a professional saverer. That's not even a word, is it? But I'm gonna, uh, it's a word now. Where are these people? Is there like more floors or is there people down? 
downstairs? Hello, does anybody want to be saved today? If you could scream, that would be perfect because I have no idea where you're hiding. Accelerate is definitely the alien for the job. The problem is I just, I can't find the people. There are no people to save. Wait a second, wait a second. Oh no, no, wait, 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 wait a second. We gotta get through here. Okay, okay, we're gonna have to use our master control on the tricks. No, 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 no. Why, 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 is it, why is it glitching out? This is the worst time for it to glitch out. Stop glitching out, please. Okay, there we go. We got it working. Let's go ahead and morph into wrath. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna bust down these blinds. Okay, we should be able to jump our way all the way to the top. I feel like I'm a giant tiger. I have fur and my body's probably gonna go up in flames very shortly. Is it, okay, okay, there's a resident inside of here. Um, 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 I gotta morph. I gotta morph back. I, I'm literally too big. Okay, okay, not four arms. We're gonna go back into accelerate. Now we're going to slowly accelerate to the citizen. Dude, this entire building is like, is it, there's just blinds everywhere. I don't understand. Why can't I just bust through the blind? Okay, okay, uh, yeah, no, there's no time to ask questions. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta come on. I'm clicking it. Okay, okay, that, that one's not gonna work. We gotta do it over here. Okay, okay, we gotta click it, click it. Wrath. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now we can go ahead and use our slash ability in order to get these stinky blinds out of the way. And boom, we're gonna save you. Don't worry, buddy. He said, thanks for the save. What the? You could, he just teleported. He can teleport. I'm pretty sure that man was a, he was an alien. That's okay, though, ladies and gentlemen. We saved one of the residents. I'm guessing the next resident is probably upstairs. Let's go see. It looks like the elevator's out of commission, so we're gonna have to probably climb. I really don't wanna burn. Okay, okay, we're gonna go through here. Resident is stuck up where? Where, where is the resident stuck? Marco! Say polo, so I know where you're stuck, please. I don't see him anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, he's probably in here. Let's see. It looks like there's a staircase up, and he said he was up here. Whoa, you can't. I'm on fire. We gotta do it, ladies and gentlemen. We're running out of time. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We saved you. Don't worry. It's gonna be okay, buddy. I know I look like a giant tiger, but I'm actually a, a really good hearted citizen of America. I did it, ladies and gentlemen. I rescued the two citizens. That's just all in a good day's work is Beck Bro Ben 10. I'm not really sure what to do about the fire, but we'll just leave that up to the fire department. It looks like, wait a second, we got it. Oh yeah, the fire department's here. As we said, apprentice, we are detecting some high energy levels at the ranch. It could be another DNA strand. Check it out. Head to the ranch. Is this like, is this Dr. Phil's ranch? I don't know if you guys know the ranch that I'm talking about, but I'm just gonna go to the ranch. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Excuse me, do you know where the ranch is? Oh, I accidentally sliced her. My bad. Oh, magical compass, where is the ranch? Ranch is this way. Okay, we gotta go ahead. Head, use the Omnitrix, and we're going to morph into Accelerate. Time to speed up. Boost. Go, 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 go. We gotta get to the ranch. I need to unlock more aliens. So if you guys missed out on the first episode, you probably don't know that every single time I find a brand new DNA strand, I unlock a brand new Ben 10 alien. They've been scattered all across the map, and I need to race against other villains, such as Kevin Levin, to find them before they get into the wrong hands. All right, magical. Oh, wait a second. We found one of these Omnitrix things. If I collect all of these, I will unlock three extra aliens. So in today's episode, if you guys do see any and I miss them, please go ahead and leave a comment down below with a timestamp. While you're down there, ladies and gentlemen, be sure to smash like. Get your tornado out and tornado the like button. Yeah. Oh, um, oh, Dr. Animo. Tennyson, is that you? How in the world? Guess again, Animo. It is I, Beck Pro Ben 10. Well, you're too late either way. The transmutator array is at full capacity. What have you done, Animo? This summer bird burberry that you have established contains such an abundance of fauna. I couldn't resist. The perfect alpha. I can see it now. This single strand of DNA will create a superior mutant, the alpha, to rule them all. Hey, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't belong to you. Can you just hand that over to me? You foolish creature. This is my master plan. It's inevitable. We'll see about that, buddy. Clearly, you have... You haven't done your calculations. Sir, I know how to do math. I've done my calculations. You're gonna die. Use the Omnitrix to transform into Slapback. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten. Last episode, I unlocked Slapback. Three, two, one. Let's unlock Slapback. That was super cringe, but I did it anyway. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. What? He, he's taking over. He's taking over animals. Look at they got They got robots on their head. I have to free the mobs before he transformed them into like these crazy mutated creatures. Look at this. It's a hippo. Okay, I have a lot of different things as as, as Slapback. Okay, so I can, I can split. I just split. I I'm literally just split. Can I split again? I'm gonna split again. Look at that. I can just keep splitting into smaller and smaller things. Okay, what about, okay, I don't want to merge, right? I want to, I can pick up. What, what does pick up do? I could, wait, can I pick up you? I want to pick up you. I want to, stop killing me. Okay, I can direct them as well. So I can just tell them to start attacking. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. I don't want to kill these things. Okay, hopefully I'm not killing them. And hopefully I'm just, I'm just taking off the, the robotic helmet. Did I do it? <laughs> he said, yo, you, yo, you infuriate me. Time to free the mobs. Oh, sweet. We have the mobs. Okay, let's direct all of my. 
<laughs> my clones to attack. There you go, guys. Go ahead. There we go. Look at that. They all broke it open. It's like my little minions. It's like they're all my little brothers and sisters. Oh my gosh, when he spawned in more minions? Why is he taking over dogs and rabbits? I thought I freed them. Well, I, I guess I freed a panda. Oh, wait a second. There's more animals. He literally has an entire ranch filled with them. Let's go ahead. Wait, can I, can I split even more? I just want to keep splitting. Look at that. I can keep splitting them. Okay, can we split again? Nah, okay, so that's it. So I can have up to eight little tiny slap bags. Little slap bag, go ahead and slap this. If you guys haven't already, be sure to head, go ahead and slap that subscribe button. Mutants, leave the transmuter away for now. Deal with this petulant fuel immediately. Dude, chill. Bro, chill. Look, look how many little tiny, look how many little tiny dudes that got. They're all gonna literally just jump on your back and start slapping you. That's probably why this man's called Slapback. How have you defeated my greatest experiments? I need to strike now. Last chance I'll have before the experiment completes. Do I strike you? Oh, okay, I strike them. I'm gonna direct them. I'm gonna direct all my minions to jump on him and start slapping his back. It looks like there's another cage that I can open. While my, my directs are over there, we should probably direct them over here. Come on, buddies. Come on, little dudes. Yes, there we go. <laughs> they all just walk in a single file line. It's like I'm the mother goose and these are all my little tiny gooselings. Don't worry, little porker. We have saved you. I will not let you be turned into bacon today. Now we must use all of them to fight Dr. Ramino. Okay, okay. Well, hold on. I want to pick up one of my little dudes. Yes, I picked him up. <laughs> head three two one throw there we go it actually does damage what sort of creature am i am i like a lizard or a turtle maybe i'm a frog whatever i am i'm really enjoying it okay we're gonna try to wait can i split again okay no 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 i can't split anymore i think i have to wait for some of my minions to die we can also merge back together which i think will make myself more powerful let's go try to pick up another one of my little slapback creatures and then we're gonna throw it directly at dr animo stop slapping me i'm the slapback character you're not the slapback character what even is this dude he's it okay he's in like a mech suit it's like a he has like the legs of a frog and the 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 fin of a dragon it is very very strange luckily my little slapback creatures are doing so much damage to him that i can just sit back i can do absolutely nothing he's trying to hit my little dudes but he's failing miserably i barely even hit him oh we got the dna ladies and gentlemen what do we unlock cannon bolt that is literally one of my favorite ben 10 aliens it looks like Asmuth wants me to come back to the lab. I guess we're gonna check in and see how much more DNA is missing. Who's this? Is it- this is Kevin Levin? Really? Yes, Kevin, I've been going around collecting all the DNA, obviously. I need to get all of the different aliens. So I've got some DNA right here. If you beat me in a rematch, you can have it. Well, Kevin, last fight did not go super well for you, and I just unlocked Cannon Bolt, so you're gonna die. Whoa, wait a second, is that Diamond Head? I'm just gonna keep- I'm just gonna literally run through him as many times as I possibly can. This is going to be the easiest fight of my entire life. I don't even care about your spikes diamond head is super strong ladies and gentlemen if i can get this alien that would be legendary okay let's try to use our pile driver ability boom let's use our slam ability this is sick this is sick look he's, he's going down so easily oh no 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 okay so he really only has one attack it looks like meanwhile i'm over here doing pile drives i'm also doing slam abilities this man is just getting slapped around like a rag doll i'm so sorry kevin i'm so sorry that you're trash in this game this is what happens when <laughs> you give back pro jack cannonball you just get steamrolled. He said, No, you're not tougher than me. You're just, just whatever. When you fail, I'll be there to say I told you so. No, you won't, Kevin. No, you flippin' won't. Well, we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We have unlocked. Who do we unlock? Is it Diamond Head? Humongosaur? That was okay. I'll take it. I didn't realize that he had Humongosaur. Is anybody here? Hex says, Super Caput Mium et Ataram Fatisit in Absium Miret. Over my head to the ground sinks into the abyss. Omnipotent Tandoma. Wait a second. So it's this guy that's causing all of the Earth to earthquakes? What? Childling, you dare to interrupt me. Your delusional mind lets your tongue speak out of turn, I see. Do you know who I am? Well, but I, it looks like you're like a ghost creature and you seem kind of dangerous, so yeah. You insignificant worm. I am Hex, the all-powerful dark mage of this dimension. Yep, sounds good. Yeah, that's really, really cool. I'm literally going to smash your face in if you don't stop causing these earthquakes. So, just gonna put that out there. You'll never get to me in time. I've blocked the tunnels. Challenge accepted, bro. You're gonna die. This is perfect, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be able to use Cannonball in order to smash through anything. Uh, can I pile drive up there? Yes, I can. Let's go. Okay, so we got that. We need to go through this entire cavern and try to get to Hex. Oh, this will be easy. Okay, so it's literally what I just did to find the other Omnitrix token. We could just use our smash ability. I don't want to smash. I did it. I smashed it. Hello there. What the heck? Uh, excuse me? Excuse me? You want to get pile drive? Stop, 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 stop. We can, we can, we can, we can talk about this, actually. We 
can we can talk about it. Actually, I don't think we can talk about it. I'm just not even gonna talk about it with these guys. We're gonna we're gonna go out. We're just gonna slam our way directly through. Please stay away from me. That's g give me give me six feet. Social distance. Come on, bro. And we're gonna smash through this one next. X has a lot of minions, but I'm honestly just gonna run right past them. They're way too slow. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. I think they heard me because they started going a little bit faster. That's okay. We're gonna slam through this. We gotta keep moving, ladies and gentlemen. We gotta keep going. Excuse me, have yourself a nice day. Please do not slap me. That is not very respectful, like. Ah, uh, <laughs> what's up, bro? Oh gosh, okay. All right, this doesn't look too good. Did I get him? I definitely smashed him. I tried to smash him real good. Oh, I smashed him. Well, that was easy. You just sleeping, bro? Or I think he's dead. Oh no, he, he's maybe he's breathing. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go ahead and pick up the DNA, and we unlocked an alien called Shock Rock. As Moo said, if my eyes do not deceive me, these seismic readings have returned to their appropriate levels. According to social guidelines, I should thank you. Uncle Max said, great job. Hex has always been trouble. He may be weakened, but he's still in danger. Wait, he's still in danger. Wait, 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 wait. What are, we, what are we talking about here? Max said, I'll get him to the lab. Head to the city and see if something comes up. Is Uncle Max here? Okay, hopefully he comes down and gets Hex because apparently I only knocked him out. I probably heavily concussed him. But ladies and gentlemen, we unlocked a brand new alien. I gotta test this out. Go through all of them, past Humongous Sword to Shock Rock. Oh my god. Gosh, this thing is big. Okay, so we have a bloomerang ability. That is epic. A blast ability. Yeah, that's just like an electric blast. A charge ability, which charges up everything around me. And then a force field. What? Nah, 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 nah. That is overpowered. That is so overpowered. And then I can turn it off too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have to keep going. Next objective is to head back to the city and I have to break a wall. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next episode when I do that and unlock even more Ben 10 aliens and be sure to hit that like button if you're enjoying. But don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, he actually had one of the DNA strands, so I should be able to use that in order to morph into my next alien. Not you accelerate, we have Wrath, Slapback, Cannonbolt, Humongousaur, and the brand new alien, Shock Rock. I think we're going to have to use Shock Rock in order to head back to the city, and supposedly we need to break some sort of wall. First things first, we need to go ahead and get out of this magical cave. While we're doing that, I need to let you guys know, if you do want to see more Ben 10 episodes, I need you guys to go ahead and smash like with your pointer finger on your left hand. While you guys are down there doing that, you might as well hit that subscribe button if it's red, so you turn it gray and you'll never miss a brand new episode. I also completely forgot to test out his ability, so we have a, something called a bloomerang. That is amazing. It's literally just like a ball of energy. We also have something called a blast. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like I put my hands to the ground and then electrocute the entire area around me. And last but not least, I have an ability called charge. Charge. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that did. Can I use my force field now? Yes, I can. This is the coolest ability. And then I can deactivate my force field as well. Or can I? Can, can, okay, yes, I can. Shockwave definitely isn't the fastest, so we might as well utilize Accelerate to start speeding up back to the city. In today's episode, I'm going to need your guys' help. If you see any of the Omnitrix tokens that I collected at the beginning of the episode or in the past couple of episodes, please leave a comment down below with a timestamp. I actually ended up missing one in the last episode, so I need to eventually go back to the ranch and grab that. If we can collect all of them, we will unlock three special new Ben 10 aliens. Down we go, back to the city, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, I'm bopping my way to the top, like Sharpay says in High School Musical, but today I'm gonna be bopping my way down to the bottom. And it worked out. We got another Omnitrix token. Now, let's go see if we can find the wall that I need to break. Yo, wait, what are these things? Who's Billy Billions? These new drones better be good. I only deserve the best. Hey, don't you think you should be using them to do some good? Why should I? I can do whatever I want, and nobody is going to stop me. Feast your eyes on the best tech money can buy. Well, all right, dude, you're, all right, you're, that's not pretty, that's not cool at all. What is he doing? Activate battle mode. Okay, I've got to figure out a way to take down these drones. Oh, wait a second, I literally just got a, I literally just got an alien that's going to be perfect for this. Also, can we just take a second to just look at Billy Billions? This dude literally looks like the most spoiled kid I've ever seen. Okay, all right, all right, we can't talk to him too bad yet because he has three amazingly bad powerful billionaire tech robots. Okay, we're gonna return to human form, right? And then we're gonna go ahead and go back to the Omnitrix and we need to, I mean, forearms could probably do the trick, but I think Shockwave is either going to power them up or he is going to be able to overload them so much that they just break down. 
Let's go ahead and try a boomerang. Okay, yes, dude, it's actually doing damage. Can I punch it? Okay, every single time I punch, I do a little bit of electricity attack. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and try to do a blast. Yes, that's super effective. Okay, it also does damage over time, so it seems like these things aren't able to gain extra charge from my powers, which is good. Did I power it down? Are you dead? Is that why you're leaning over? Are you tired or something? Yo, Billy Billions, your robots are trash, dude. You should probably throw them in the garbage. Wait a second, it looks like there's an area over here that I have to go to. Oh, what? Do you, wait, what, what is this? Can I use this to power myself up? Wait a second, it wants me to shock the panel. Let's try to do a blast. Did it work? Maybe if I do my charge ability. Okay, okay, hold up. I should probably deal with these guys first. It looks like I powered down another one. It looks like there's only one more to go. Or maybe they're just recharging. I can't tell. Let's use our bloomerang on him. That is not a bloomerang. That is a flipping omnitrix. Bloomerang. Bloomy bloomerang. Let's use our blast ability one more time. And then we should just be able to power him down. Suck on them apples, Billy Billions. Okay, now we should be able to go over here and use our blast ability. Let's use our charge ability. And wait a second, we charged it up. You'll pay for that. Do you have any idea how expensive they are? Uh, you started this bill. You literally told me that these things were like billion dollar tech robots. So I don't know what to tell you. Helping people is lame and I'm not lame. Well, I mean, you kind of are lame, dude. Helping people is literally like, that's the least lame thing to do. Ladies and gentlemen, moral of today, do not be like Billy Billions. Be like Beck Bro Ben 10 and help people. We need to go ahead and be Billy Billions to the next panel so I can shock it and he can no longer have his billionaire tech toys. Before I leave, let's go ahead and trap Billy Billions inside of a force field. I just realized that traps myself inside of the force field and I do not want to be trapped inside here with the little d dummy Billy Billions, so we're gonna leave. Let's go inside of his billionaire tech tower and see if we can find the other panels and shock them so we can no longer use any of the electricity. It looks like we're gonna need to use Wrath in order to climb up the tower. Okay, let's return back to human form and then we can go ahead and morph into Wrath. Back to climbing we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, okay, all right. I'm not even finished climbing. You're not even gonna let me climb up, bro. Well, that's too bad for you. I'm gonna roar you. I said, I'm gonna roar you. Okay, these things are immune to being roared at. It's a good thing I have an ability called Slash, which does a lot more damage. Yes, yes, it's working. They can't even handle wrath. Okay, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna need to morph back into Shockwave, so then I can actually turn these things off once and for all. Okay, okay, they're getting awfully close. We're gonna have to do a little bit of parkour here, ladies and gentlemen. Back to human form. Use the Omnitrix. And then we're gonna morph back into Shock Rock. Okay, we need to take this thing out with the Bloomerang. Go ahead, Bloomerang. And maybe just a Blast ability. Okay, that should power him down for the time being. Let's go ahead and charge up this panel. Did it work? I think it worked. Activate Ultra Platinum Battle Mode Deluxe. Dude, dude, no, don't do that, Billy. Do not do that. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your aliens are nothing compared to my money. <laughs> this dude is so spoiled. It's literally his dad's money, bro. <laughs> this guy's crazy. Okay, it looks like there's another panel that I have to find. I am literally going to shut down his entire building. Billy Billions is no longer are gonna have access to billions of dollars by the end of this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are taking him out. And then we're gonna have to send him back to school so he learns some manners. All right, we're gonna go ahead and I think I need to use a wrath in order to like hop up here a little bit. And then I might need to climb up even higher. Oh, wait, what's up? What's up, fellas? <laughs> I think Billy must have activated the super powerful battle mode. Don't worry, you guys stay right down there. Actually, this is a job for forearms. Let's do this. Seismic clap. That's right, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm just gonna hit them off the building. That worked out great. Why have I not been using forearms? Okay, uh, I think, I think, I think, yep, they're all gone. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our Omnitrix to morph all the way back into Shock Rock. Shock Rock, do your thing and electrocute the building. Billy, Billy, Billy said, you're just, you're just, you're just, I can't read. Billy said, you're just jealous. You can't stop this before anyone gets hurt. Nobody tells me what to do. No fair, stupid drones are supposed to be top of the line. I should have upgraded that with his DNA. That's right, Billy, cry. Cry to your dad. I mean, we really could have done some good with those drones but I guess not. Billy Billion said, they're my drones and I'm not sharing. And look at what that did, Billy. Now all your drones are busted. Said fine, I don't care about it anyways. Pick it up on the floor. That's what you get, Billy. I really wish I could lock him in a forest field and then never let this dude out because this dude is the worst. Well, that's all right, ladies and gentlemen. At least we were able to bully him <laughs> and get back the DNA. It looks like Uncle Mac literally just, uh, 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 did, did he just kidnap Billy Billions? Whatever, ladies and gentlemen, we're not gonna ask him any questions because we just unlocked a brand new alien. Uh, let's go ahead and showcase Diamond Head, one of my favorites. Diamond Head has a couple different cool abilities. We have diamond darts that we can shoot out of our hands. Dude, that was sick. There's like 18 darts that fly. We also have a spikes in a line. That is amazing. And then we could do spikes in a circle to protect myself. Let's go check out Uncle Mac.
Max. How are you holding up, kid? Got some great news for you. Asmuth, the clever little toad, has nearly stabilized the Null Void Projector. It won't be long before it's all three of you fighting the bad guys. We might have a lead on some DNA at Forever Knight's Castle. Could you check it out? Um, yeah! Wait a second, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you guys were keeping up with the other episodes, but in the first episode, Ben and Gwen got captured. Well, they didn't necessarily get captured, they kind of accidentally went into, like, this weird void dimension. It was all Asmuth's fault, he was trying to do something with a void projector, and basically the entire thing just exploded and caused all of these portals to start opening. That's how all the DNA got spread, and also Ben and Gwen got sucked into the portals. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I keep finding the DNA and Asmuth can fix the void projector, then we can actually fight all together. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, ladies and gentlemen. You are not going to want to miss that, and also, I'm not going to want to miss it, and I also might have a panic attack when it happens, because Ben 10 is literally one of my favorite people ever. So, it looks like our next DNA is at Forever Knight's Castle. I actually think that I passed by it earlier. We're gonna go and morph back into Accelerate so we can get there just a tad bit quicker. I'm also gonna be on the lookout for Kevin Levin. Normally, he's lurking after I take down a boss battle. It looks like we're close, ladies and gentlemen. I think I see the castle up there, but it looks like something flipped over this bus. Yeah, there was an accident. Let's go make sure nobody is hurt. I actually think I saw this earlier. It's, uh, it's kind of quiet. No. Escapees? What the heck, bro? Where were they? Wait a second. Who was driving the bus? Why did they not collect the escapees? Okay, honestly, ladies and gentlemen, I honestly, I like, I should be able to use Accelerate in order to capture them all and throw them up in a tornado. <laughs> that move is literally so overpowered, especially against just normal human beings. I feel kind of bad. Am I supposed to, like, kill them or can I just capture them? I guess we're just gonna incapacitate them. We're gonna knock them out like Pokemon do to one another. Or, okay, I thought they died, but they didn't. Look, they're just all concussed and it looks like very tired. That's right, you guys nap, nap it off, you know? Uh, we'll, we'll have to call the, the, the police out here in just a second. Yeah, Bessie, we got, we got a code nine out here. We got three escapees that I may have accidentally concussed. No, no, yeah, they're, they're all alive, but like, I'm gonna need like an FBI or, or like something to come out and collect them. Maybe just get Rodney. Also tell him to bring cookies. Thanks. Oh, it looks like there's another escapee over here. Wait, is there multiple? Oh my gosh, dude, there's another three. They were literally just hiding. They were trying to run away while I was fighting the other ones. I do not want to use Diamond Head on these escapees because I feel like I would accidentally kill them. Okay, there we go. We incapacitated them. One down, two down. This dude's head stuck in a dirt block. And the last one's way up there. We're gonna send him super high up. And I think I just broke all of their legs. And you did. Or are knocked out. Okay, cool. Looks like Bessie's gonna get Uncle Max out here to collect all of the prisoners and bring them back to prison. Now we can keep heading up to Forever Knight's castle. This looks like the entrance, ladies and gentlemen, and that definitely looks like Forever Knight's castle. Let's be really cautious. Wait, wait, I just realized, dude, when I shift click, <laughs> Accelerate starts walking on all fours. Before I go inside, let's go ahead and morph into our brand new alien, Diamond Head. That should just protect us a tad bit more than if I was Accelerate. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. We're at the front doors. Do, do I knock? What's the appropriate thing to do here? Do I- Oh, well, well, hello there. How are you doing? I've been waiting for you, learning you here. All I ask is you join me, fix this broken world, rid it of the aliens for good, starting with this piece of DNA. That device you hold has only brought chaos to our world, the world I swore to protect. Uh, protect? You and your friends have been kind of wreaking havoc on this world, certainly not protecting it. I'm not sure if you're friends with, like, the other dudes that I was fighting, or Billy Billions. If you're friends with Billy Billions, I'm gonna have to kill you. So much like Tennyson, a pity. I was hoping you would see the big picture. I've been watching. Your skills could be better suited if you join forces with me. What do you say? Dream on, Forever Knight. You might have been a good guy once, but now you will perish. Dude, I've literally done more going with the Omnitrix in like three hours than you've probably done in your entire life. So I think we're just going to have to agree to disagree. And apparently that's what's going to happen. Looks like he has a shield. And okay, okay. So if I attack the shield, it doesn't do any damage. So maybe I'm able to use Diamond Head's spike abilities in order to try to get past the shield. Nope, I cannot. Okay, we're going to have to lure him into an attack. Okay, shield's down. Shield is down, ladies and gentlemen. Attack. Whoa, he's got a whip. Okay, all right, we gotta be really, really careful about that shield and the whip. Also, while we're at it, just so I don't forget, we're gonna go ahead and collect this Omnitrix token. Okay, let's see if I can lure him to get his shield down. Or if I hit him in the back, it looks like I can do extra damage as well. Okay, let's try to use our spike circle. Yes, there we go. That actually does damage because it attacks in all directions. Dude, this guy is trash. Okay, he also has what appears to be like a spiked mace that turns into a whip. That's actually pretty impressive, and I would love to have that ability, but I don't even know if I can. I'm also really curious to see what DNA he stole. I really hope it's Heat Blast. That is easily one of my favorite aliens, and we took him down. I don't think I lost 
lost any health. Bro, this, this man literally just got demolished. I think that might have been the easiest fight yet. Probably because this dude has been literally up in his castle for probably like all of his life. So he's really not a good fighter. But let's go ahead and collect DNA anyway. He blessed. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I knew it. Max said, no time to rest though. We're receiving really strange readings from the Arctic Weather Station. I have a suspicion that a certain pair of twins might be interfering with the instruments. Make your way to the weather station and check it out. It's located out on the ice shelf. He has a feeling that twins are out there messing with it. I'm not entirely sure who that could be, ladies and gentlemen, but if you have any ideas, leave a comment down below. I'm going to go ahead and check out the rest of the castle to see if I can find any other Omnitrix tokens. But ladies and gentlemen, in the next episode, we're going to be heading out to the weather station and also testing out our brand new alien, Heat Blast. Let's go just make sure I actually got it. Okay, so if I go this way, we actually, we have quite a few aliens left to unlock. But ladies and gentlemen, we can now heat it up up a little bit with heat blast. gentlemen, we need to head over to the weather station. I'm not sure if you guys remember, but in the last episode, we defeated Forever Knight in his massive castle here, and we unlocked Heat Blast. I didn't really test out his ability, so we might as well do that to start. We have a fireball, obviously. It looks like we also have a flamethrower ability that I can hold down. Yo, the animations look so dope. And it looks like we also have a takeoff ability. Wait a second. Okay, so I can't necessarily fly around as Heat Blast, but I can take off, and then I can glide. Dude, it looks so sick. Um, I may have accidentally started a forest fire. So we're going to go ahead and start making our way to the weather station before anybody comes and finds out what I did. Let's go ahead and morph back into, uh, you know, Beck Bro Ben 10. And we're just going to go ahead and go to Accelerate. Accelerate is easily the fastest alien that I have, especially because, uh, you know, Heat Blast can normally fly. But I guess in the Minecraft version, he's not as good as flying. There's also Stink Fly, which we haven't unlocked yet. And I'm not sure if we'll get Stink Flies DNA in today's episode. Oh, I see an Omni token. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do notice any of these throughout today's episode, please go ahead and leave a comment down below with a timestamp because I've already missed a few. I went back to the ranch and I'm pretty sure I got that one, or at least the one that you guys were talking about. But if I collect all of these, I'll get three extra aliens. So I definitely need to collect all of them. Let's go. We got another one. I'm not sure, ladies and gentlemen, but the weather station might be over there on the island. I'm not sure if I have any alien that's equipped uh, to travel in the water, but I guess we're going to figure it out because I'm pretty sure the magical compass tells me to go this way. So I got to do it and I <laughs> just jumped immediately in the water. If I use my boost ability, oh my gosh, I'm actually fast enough to just run directly over the one block gaps. That is so cool. All right. Well, we made it to this water jungle. It's more like a water jungle gym. Okay. So we're going to have to just take it kind of slow. I don't think I'm able to fall into the water here. So what I'm thinking is I might as well go back to a human form and then we can morph into heat blast and then we could just fly. Let's use our Omnitrix and then we can morph into Heat Blast. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so I should be able to use my takeoff ability and then we can glide, which will make it just like a little bit faster. I just don't want to accidentally fall into the water, especially as Heat Blast, because I'm pretty sure my entire body would turn directly into obsidian. But it looks like the magic compass is telling me this is the right way. And I think Heat Blast is the only one that can actually get across all of these boats. Okay, we're going to go like this. I also think Cannibal could probably jump. I don't want to test it though, because this is going really, really well as Heat Blast. And I haven't really used Heat Blast yet. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but Heat Blast is probably... Probably my favorite Ben 10 alien, either Heat Blast or Alien X, but I really am not sure if we're going to unlock Alien X in this series. Okay, what happens if I jump and then... All oh, right, well, I'm safe. So Heat Blast can still survive in the water. My life flashed before my eyes there, ladies and gentlemen. I thought it was over for me. Okay, so I can't jump and take off. What I could do is just stand and then I can use my takeoff ability. They really should put an instruction manual with the Omnitrix. Can I run into it? Okay, yeah, so I can kind of run into it and it uses uses my momentum and pushes me forward. Uh, can I make this jump? Let's, I mean, we're gonna find out in three, two, one. Come on, dude, it's gonna be close. Okay, well, we're gonna say that I made that. I'm not really sure. I mean, like, I'm not super worried about falling into the water anymore, but like, I'm, I don't think it's a good thing for Heat Blast. I mean, my entire body is literally made out of molten lava rocks. Actually, yeah, let's go back. We're gonna morph into Humongosaur. A lot of you guys are commenting that I have not used Humongosaur enough. Okay, what the, it's pretty, whoa. Wait, wait, am I dying from the cold? Hold on. Hold on. Okay, I actually need to be Heat Blast in order to not die. Love that. So much for Humongosaur. I guess we'll have to test him out later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're looking for the weather station. Looks like the magical compass is telling me to go this way, but I'm also going to be on the lookout to see if we have any Omni tokens. Any Omni tokens inside here? 
No Omni tokens. That means I don't need this place, and therefore we're just gonna burn it down. That'll teach you building not to give me Omni tokens. It looks like a weather tower over there, so I'm gonna guess that's probably the weather station. <laughs> I just like, every single time I jump, it just makes a grunting noise. <laughs> I don't know why, but it cracks me up. This has to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take off and try to check out what's on the roof. Is anybody home? Oh, yeah, I'm the dog. It was worth it. Let's go down here and then see if there's anybody inside. Hello? Oh, wait a second. Who are you guys? Solar tween. Polar tween. You infuriate me. Well, you infuriate me. Always ruining our plans. Our plans? These are your plans. I wanted to hack into the power grid, but no. Let's use the alien DNA to manipulate the weather instead. It's a spectacular plan. Those fools will be utterly confused when the forecast comes in. Shh, you shush. Uh, guys, guys, I'm literally, I'm here to like put an end to whatever's happening right here. You guys do look really cool and you kind of look like Transformers, so I, maybe we could be friends. We may fly endlessly, but you can't stop the Twain Twins. Well, I would like to see about that. I've taken down everybody else so far. Max said these readings are haywire, kid. Magnetic machines seem to be all over the island. You need to disable them. Find them and see if you can disable them. Okay, I need to melt the ice around the island to disable their machines. I can't even fight these two yet. I can try. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, maybe I can't. My little flamethrower. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, whatever they did, they have force fields around their body, so I need to disable the machines first. Don't worry, I will be back for you. Uglies. They're actually really handsome looking robots, but I can't tell them that. Okay, so around the island, we need to find and disable the machines. I think I see one of them up here. Let's go see. Okay, okay. So, I think this has to be one of them. As Muth said, you can use heat blast fire to melt the ice. Alright, let's use a little bit of flame there. Oh my gosh, it worked. So, it's not just good for causing forest fires and burning down houses. Now, I'm gonna have to use my takeoff ability in order to just do a little bit of heat blast parkour. There we go. Let's take off again. It looks so cool. And we made it. What is this? I can use heat blast fire to disable the machine. This is the weirdest looking machine. I thought this was a little magnet man and he was dancing. Alright, well, let's go ahead and use a flamethrower in order to disable the machine. All right, well, we put it out with the flames. Let's go see if we can find the other machines. <laughs> Just gonna jump around. There we go. Wait, what is it? Polar bears? Dude, I am not going to be a guy that, that, that kills a polar bear with flamethrower. Polar bears, don't worry. If you... Okay, stop. They're literally coming right after me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna fight you. I love animals too much, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like there's more ice up ahead, so there has to be another one of the machines. Let's go ahead and try to snipe with a little flamethrower. Oh my gosh, bro. This thing has some range. Hello? Dude. Okay, okay. Why? Wild dogs, really? They're they're shoving every single animal that I love, and they want me to fight it. I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting the dogs, ladies and gentlemen, or the polar bears. I'm just gonna disable the machines, and I'm just gonna keep on moving. Keep on moving and grooving, bop my way to the tap. Uh, okay, okay. Excuse me, little guy. I didn't realize it explodes when I use takeoff. I didn't mean it, ladies and gentlemen. I swear. I did not mean that. Hopefully, nobody saw anything. I wonder if I could use a fireball on this. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so fireball, like, it kind of works. Okay, wait a second. It works pretty well. It just takes two fireballs. So it's like two fireballs for the price of one flamethrower. There we go. Whoa. Max said, hey, all the data looks normal again. Great job. Now bring those two twins to justice. Done. Don't worry, Uncle Max, I'm all over it, especially because I know I will get another alien if I can defeat them. All right, let's go ahead and burn through the ice. And now we should be able to use the path to wrap all the way back around to the weather station. It looks like there's a small city over there, and up there looks like something pretty important. So when I'm looking for all the Omni tokens in a future episode, we're definitely going to have to come back here. Bro, why are all the dogs so angry, man? I didn't even do anything. It has to be the twins, ladies and gentlemen. They have to be making all of the winter dogs dogs angry. We made it back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully the twins are in the same spot. Knock, knock. Guess who's here? Justice. Now look, they ruined all our, my hard work. It was a brainless idea anyway. You're brainless. Take that back. I've always been the smarter one. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, I have. Let's agree on one thing. Let's get out of here. Wait, no, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. What the heck, dude? Pick up the DNA. Wait, they, they're gone. They're gone. They left the DNA. Dude, I really thought I was going to have to fight them, but I'm really glad I didn't because they literally look like Power Rangers combined with Transformers. And I was not trying to fight them. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I would have won, but like at the same time, I don't really know. We'll never find out though. I did get the DNA and we 
unlocked Jet Ray. Max said head towards the desert town. Hopefully you won't run into any trouble. Well, that makes it seem like I might run into some trouble. So ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to check out a brand new alien Jet Ray. Let's see. So this is Jet Ray. We have one, two, three more aliens to unlock. Comment down below who you guys think they are. And really? It looked like the snow stopped so I no longer have to worry about freezing out here. So let's go ahead and transform into Jet Ray. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please listen to him when he jumps. <laughs> he sounds so scary. It's like, it's like, I don't even know what it's like, dude, but it makes me feel weird. Okay, so we have a couple different ability. We have lasers. Oh, okay, okay. So it's more like, not like a constant laser stream. It's more like just one shot of lasers from my eyeballs. Would you chill, bro? We also have a flight ability. Yo, no way. Okay, so we can now fly. This is amazing, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to make traveling so much easier. Wait a second. I can also pick up entities. Let's try to pick up a polar bear. Hello, polar bear. Hello, buddy. Can I pick you up? Can I pick? No. Okay. You might be just a tad bit too big. Polar bear is too thick to pick up. Let's try this. Nope. All right. I'm no longer going to try to pick things up that are hostile. So let's go ahead and fly. Now we can head towards the desert town. I'm just glad, ladies and gentlemen, I can get off of this icy tundra. Actually, hold up. This is going to make it so easy to find some of the Omni tokens. Let's go check out the rest of the ice mountain over here because there has to be some Omni tokens just kind of scattered around. And then I could use them in order to unlock even more aliens. I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's one directly up top here. Got that one. I have a strange feeling that there are probably more of the tokens inside some of these houses. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, I need to go ahead and rescue Ben and Gwen and also collect all the DNA. So I'll probably have to come back here in a future episode and then collect every single Omni token. But before I leave, let's go down here. We're going to collect this one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now we can start making our way to the desert. I'm not entirely sure where it is. If I had to guess, it's probably on the opposite side of this ginormous map. See, ladies and gentlemen, directly ahead. Wait, can I shoot lasers while I'm flying? Yo, I can. That's actually super cool. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is the ranch. Just to double check, I'm going to go and make sure that I didn't miss any other Omni tokens here. I know you guys commented that I did. I think I got that one, but like, I'm not 100% sure. Bro, I just realized this dude runs so weird. Look at his arms, man. He's re <laughs> he's running like Naruto. He's literally doing the Naruto run. Oh, I see one up here. I got it, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Okay, I hope that was all of them. Huh? If I did miss another one here, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. Wait a second, they got the they got the Egyptian pyramids here? Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it all the way into the desert to visit Max. Ben's done this before. He had to fight Vilgax for the first time at some point. Wait, 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 wait. Vilgax? If Ben can do it, so can I. If Ben can, I can? Uh, yeah, totally. Don't be nervous, kid. You've protected the world without a hitch. This is no different. No different? He's only the most feared overlord warlord in the universe. Well, like, yeah, totally fine. It's like fighting Thanos. Totally, got it. They're just words and names. You've proven to us just how much of a hero you truly are. Objective, step forwards. All right, Vilgax. Huh? I'm doing what now? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, apparently, Mighty Vilgax, I, uh, I don't think Max explained this to me quite before I decided to rush out here to the desert. Like, I would have maybe just stopped for some cookies and other other things. Like, maybe, maybe just like, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everything that I've done so far has prepared me for this moment. We have unlocked so many Ben 10 aliens. There is currently three that I have yet to unlock, but I guess, uh, yeah, we're gonna need some more Omni tokens in order to get those. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going in with the big guns. We're going in as humongous. Or let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Wish me luck. So I guess that it's Vilgax's ship up there. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. The big, green, ugly octopus man. What's up, nerd? Oh, no. Okay, he's a little bit bigger than I thought. This planet will face my wrath once and for all. I prefer your presence. The Omnitrix is near. Drones, find that fiend Asmuth and bring him to me. And Tennyson. You might want to rethink your intergalactic war plan there, pal. Tennyson? No, who are you? Grab the Omnitrix. How? Uh, because Asmuth, trust me, obviously. Plus, I'm the cookie man. His potential is wasted on such a feeble creature. Now give it to me. No way. If you want it, you better come and get it. Wait. Yes. It's Ben 10 and Gwen. I see you show up for a beatdown. You changelings are inferior to me in every way. I'll take the Omnitrixes from you both. Defeat the drones. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wait a second. Is Ben going to transform? Yes. We have four arms, baby. We got this. 
Okay, we're gonna use our stop ability, bro. Oh my gosh, hold up, ladies and gentlemen. They do a lot, a lot more damage than I thought. Let's use a tail whip. Oh my goodness, bro. These things do a lot of damage. Okay, Ben's over there fighting them, bro. This is insane. I should probably go near him because he's probably way better at this than I am. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our stop ability. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I need a range attack, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to morph back into a human who's master control, and then we are going to go into one of my new favorite aliens, Accelerate. Accelerate has an amazing attack, the tornado, which I honestly don't know if it's gonna be super effective against these drones, especially because the drones can shoot. And this thing's really good at dragging them up into the air, but I don't know if they're gonna take fall damage. It does a little bit of damage, though. Let's go see if we can help out Ben Tana's forearms. Yo, bro! Okay, maybe I should be forearms with him. Double forearms can definitely be pretty darn effective. Let's do this. Okay, let's get some debris, and then let's throw it at these guys. Let's take after Ben 10. This is amazing. Let's use our seismic clap ability, too. Yes, that was so good. Okay, let's get debris again. There we go. We got a boulder. Let's throw the boulder. Yes, and then seismic clap. Boom, it's working. Let's try, let's try to fight just a couple. Yes, okay, they're all low, and forearms barely takes any damage. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, forearms is locked. Defeat Philgax. Wait a second. Ben said time for a new plan. How about some speed? It's hero time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's morph into Accelerate with him. I think we might need a new plan. Max said, you got this, guys. Just remember to think. Ben, do you remember his weakness? Ben, please tell me his weakness, because I'm scared. Scared. Scared, Ben. Scared. Max said, think, Ben, have you defeated him before? Gwen said, no pressure or anything. It's not like the whole universe depends on you. Thanks, Gwen. Thanks. I appreciate the help here. I'm, yep. Yeah, all right, cool. Thanks. Okay, well, I'm able to use the tornado ability. Vulgax said, hand it over, and I may let you live. Gosh, so you think you can distract me? Think again. Oh, uh, uh, maybe we're distracting you. Maybe, maybe we are distracting you. Maybe we are distracting you, huh? There we go. The tornado ability is working. Okay, I don't want to accidentally hit Ben. Dude, he's literally so fast. I forgot how powerful Vilgax is. Okay, let's use our tornado ability again. We need to make sure to dodge and weave. Okay, we can dodge left. There we go. Oh my gosh, he still lands at the hit. This dude's so much faster than I am, even as Accelerate. Okay, let's use another tornado ability. I think it's working, ladies and gentlemen. That's the only way I'm going to actually get this done. The tornado ability is actually doing a lot of damage. I don't know if I should morph into another alien. Let's see if I can do it. Okay. Ah, God, she's right behind me. She's right behind me. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. The other aliens, are they locked? Is every single other alien locked? Oh, no, wait a second. I can turn into Wrath. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, buddy? You ever fight a giant cat? Let's use our slash ability. Yes, it's doing a lot of damage. I'm just gonna spam. Spam attack, spam attack, spam attack. It's working, ladies and gentlemen. Let's use our roar ability again. Let's go. Let's use our slash ability. Oh my gosh, dude. Wrath is doing so much damage. Okay, okay, okay. I'm taking a lot more damage than I'm actually doing. Uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna morph back into a human. And we're gonna have to use another one. Okay, okay, I can't do this. Let's go to slap back. We'll Okay, we need to split off. We need to split off into a bunch of different tiny aliens. Then I can actually throw them at him. Oh my gosh, it's working! Yo! Yeah, said I will be back, Asmuth. Tennyson and you, lock me away in the null void all you want. But I will get my revenge one day. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna merge back together because Ben's kind of surrounded by all the slapbacks. Ben said, we better get that Omnitrix of yours back to the lab before any other intergalactic wars break out. Oh, you stole my Omnitrix, bro? I thought I thought we were cool, man. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is gonna be it. The moment of truth. We just <laughs> took down Vilgax, which I really wasn't prepped for, but I'm glad that we did it. Now, I don't know if Asmuth is going to let me continue to use an Omnitrix, but I really hope he does, dude, because, like, this thing is a lot of fun. Well, it looks like we have the Intergalactic Council in here. What's up, Max? Asmuth, Ben 10, Gwen, who did nothing. How's everybody doing today? Well done, both of you. My scans indicate that all the alien DNA has been returned. We've also made sure everyone who came through the Null Void Projector is back where they belong. Thanks! I couldn't spend a moment longer in that place! Nobody asked you, Gwen. Looks like I'm not the only hero around here. Here's to you, kid. Great job! Not only have you proved that you're worthy of the Omnitrix, <gasps> you have also proven that the good-willed humans of this planet have great potential within our galaxy. Did I do it? Whoa, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard him say! Do not expect such friendly treatment around the lab. You are still the apprentice, even if you just saved the galaxy. We should kick more bad guy butts sometime! Thanks again! Nobody asked you, Gwen. One last thing. You can unlock more alien forms if your power up your Omnitrix with the Omni tokens located around the world. Feel free to take any of more bad guys out until I see you there. Welcome, Team Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it! We took down Vilgax and we just unlocked the Omnitrix with every single alien other than the three that I have yet to unlock. I'm not actually sure who they are. But ladies and gentlemen, I am definitely going to find out. Supposedly there are other bad guys scattered around the world. I feel like I've explored a lot of it, but there's a lot that I have yet to see. So ladies and gentlemen, over the next couple of episodes, I'm going to be trying to unlock even more aliens. There's obviously three more to collect. 
And I'm also going to be looking around because Kevin Levin is still lurking out here. I've seen him a couple of times throughout the episodes, but I've never really taken him down for good. Oh, speaking of Omni tokens, look at that. We got another one. There's still 77 more Omni tokens to collect before I can unlock the brand new aliens. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys do have any specific areas that you think I should check out in order to find more Omni tokens, please leave a comment down below because this is obviously a massive world. And if I have to check inside of every single building in every single room, this could take me a while. I mean, don't get me wrong, ladies and gentlemen, I am all for it. I want to see what the other three Ben 10 aliens are, especially if there are other bad guys lurking around the world. You're gonna probably need to use them in order to defeat some of the other bad guys. Wait a second, what's going on up here? Are these people? What the? What the? Wait, those robot dogs? Where did you guys come from? Wait a second, this is what I'm talking about. Wait, Billy Billion still has his robot dogs? Wait, are these Billy Billion's robot dogs? I am so confused. I don't really, okay, I guess I'm fighting them. Dude, wait a second. Okay, I didn't really realize that there was actually like more bad guys around. I, I honestly, I thought that Ben 10 was just gonna take care of them and that like they were just kidding about all the bad things that could go wrong still. So now I really need to unlock the other aliens. I knew there would be one on top of the pyramid. Let's actually check out this area more because I really didn't explore the desert. Also, I bet there's an Omni token up on top of this ship. Wait, there's not? Dude, I could have sworn there would have been a one up here. Well, wait a second. Normal mobs spawn in? And what are these dogs that keep spawning? Okay, before we end off this episode, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and test out some of the other aliens against... Oh my gosh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Forearms, baby. Let's see how forearm does. Okay, first off, against these little dudes. I'm gonna seismic clap all of them. But I really wanted to see what happened if I just tried to fight normal mobs. I actually do a lot of damage to them. Okay, all right, chill. That's right, back it up. I really need to figure out what these dogs are doing because I thought I got rid of all the dogs. Okay, I definitely just roasted that dog alive. Oh my gosh, bro. Accelerate is so overpowered, especially just against a giant group of mobs. Get out of here, you ugly big nose witch. Sorry, little doggy. Not really sure why I keep wanting to kill me, but it's not gonna work. Wait, what are these things? Oh my gosh, wait a second. So all of the villains that I fought in the episodes, they're all just spawning across the world. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a good spot to wrap it up for today's episode. In between the next couple of episodes, I'm probably going to have to just go around and collect every single Omni token that I can find. There's still 73 more left, so I definitely have a lot of work to do. But by the next episode, I should be able to unlock the three brand new aliens and show you guys exactly what they are and what they can do. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the world of Ben 10. If you guys missed out on the last episode, well, we unlocked Quad Smack. Now, I was doing a little bit of research on Quad Smack, and this is basically like the super powered upgraded version of Forearms. It has basically the same abilities. We have a seismic clap. We also, we're able to pick up rocks, even though I'm not sure where we just pulled a rock from. And then we can throw it. So, yeah. We're just way more powerful. Now, obviously, I still have a ton of Omni tokens to collect. And if you guys are new to the series and have no idea what an Omni token is, then you should probably check it all out, all the other episodes. But basically, after defeating every single boss in this world, there are still a couple more aliens that I can unlock. But in order to do so, I need to collect every single Omni token. Uh, earlier, I was talking with Uncle Max, and supposedly down in the lab, Asmuth has a mission for me. And if I'm able to do this mission, we will unlock so many Omni tokens. So let's go ahead and wobble with my massive arms over to Asmuth and see what he's got. You're so close to unlocking all of the aliens in the Omnitrix. These final few aliens are more powerful than anything you've played with so far. So you're going to have to work a little harder to unlock them. If you go into the city, there is a huge yellow building waiting for you to arrive. Omni tokens have spawned all throughout the building. The higher you go up, the more Omni tokens there'll be. But be careful, with more tokens comes more danger. All right, well thank you, you little tiny beautiful alien. So this is perfect. It seems like Asmuth has discovered a ton of the Omni tokens. Let's go ahead and morph into Accelerate so we can get there just a little bit quicker. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we're looking for a big yellow building and inside, it seems like there might be some danger. Now, obviously I'm not scared. I have over 11 different aliens to choose from. What's going on here? What, what are you guys, what are you looking at there? Okay, something is very wrong. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm leaving. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are enjoying this series, 
that definitely go whoop. No, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't uh, uh, disregard that. If you are enjoying this series, go ahead and smash the like button. Like I, like I, okay, I was gonna smash this dude in the face, but I can't. Go ahead and tornado the like button. You're invincible, aren't you? There's only a few more aliens to unlock, but wait, what? I can drive cars? Some of you guys were commenting that in the last episode, and I didn't believe you because I've been trying to ride these cars throughout every single episode of this Ben 10 series. Okay, so after I defeated Vilgax, it seems like a lot of the enemies are still spawning throughout the world. I'm not sure if that will stop after I collect all of the Omni tokens. But also, some of you guys were saying that I should actually just try to beat the game. Like, I could go into the nether and then maybe even the end dimension and defeat the ender dragon as a maxed out Ben 10 character with every single Ben 10 alien. I can definitely try that. But first things first, ladies and gentlemen, we have a mission at hand. We need to get every single Omni token so I can become every single Ben 10 alien. I think this actually might be the building. Oh my gosh, it definitely is. Okay, so there's a ton of Omni tokens in here. Now, if you guys are playing the map for yourself, definitely check out this building, but you can also find Omni tokens scattered throughout the entire world. So, uh, uh, yo, 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 as Moose said, it was kind of dangerous in here, so we're gonna take it nice and slow. Hello? Is anybody inside? Sounds really spooky. Whoa, okay, okay, we got a robot. I gotta morph. Oh, bego, 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 bego. I'm morphing into four arms. There's no choice. I probably should have morphed into quad smack. Wait a second, can I do that? Can I do that? Quad smack, quad smack. There we go. The upgraded version is always better, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. Okay, so I know for a fact quad smack does more damage, and his moves are way more powerful than forearms. Don't get me wrong, forearms is really powerful, but supposedly this guy is even more powerful. Look at all the dogs out there. Let's seismic clap that. Okay, seismic clap cannot go through doors. Let's try to throw a rock at them. Did I get them? Oh my gosh, they're literally chilling at the door. I think I got most of them, except for this one. Oh, where did this thing come from? Okay, we're gonna shut the door. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with those dogs later, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks like upstairs we have a ton more Omni tokens. But just like Asmuth said, with more rewards comes greater danger. Stranger danger, danger stranger. What you doing? What, stop, stop, stop. What you doing? Stop it. Whatever you're doing, just stop it. What's over here? Okay, all right. Dude, no, 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 I didn't mean, I didn't mean to use that. Three, two, one, seismic clap. Oh my gosh, bro, I think it worked. You gotta be awfully careful. These robots, they do not care about stranger danger. They just care about killing. There we go, seismic clap. Oh, that, that definitely hit the spot. Bop, bop. I don't, I don't wanna have to bop you guys. I'm bopping them all, ladies and gentlemen. I warned them. This entire place feels like and sounds like it is literally just filled with Omni tokens. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but yeah, they kind of give off this distinct little like uh, humming sound. And it sounds like they're absolutely everywhere. There we go. 57, 56. Oh, we're making great pace today, ladies and gentlemen. At this rate, we're definitely going to unlock the next mystery alien. Hey, hey, stop, stop. I'm gonna bonk you. That's right, get bonked, boy. Hello. Hello, back bro, Jack. Car salesman here to sell you cars. You want a new Ferrari? No, you don't. You want to die. Oh, there's a lot of them over there. Seismic clap. Let's go. Pick up debris. Throw the debris. Everybody <laughs> just clap your hands, I guess, bro. I don't know. Clap. Yo, okay. That is exactly what seismic clap is supposed to do, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. There we go. Bonk them. Bonk them. Bop and bonk. Bop and bonk and bop. Bonk the bop, the bop, the bonk. Oh my gosh, bro. There's, a, there's a, an entire army in this corner. This entire building is crawling with every single bad thing that I've fought in this series. That's okay, ladies and gentlemen. I am willing to do anything to get out of my hands on the Omni tokens. Is there any in here? Whoa, we hit the mother load. Jackpot, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. I see some tentacles coming through the door. What are you guys doing in there? You guys better not be eating my cookies. Oh! Oh! Snap, crackle, pop. Da, 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 da. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I just do? What? 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 I did not realize I can hold down shift to do like a mega jump. I completely forgot. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Boop. Yes, dude. It's literally like a mega Hulk smash. Three more Omni tokens. Let me slurp those up. This building is huge. I need to make sure to check absolutely everywhere. I can't miss any Omni tokens. Oh, did you guys have a slumber party in there? You guys are all in your pajamas. You're, you're totally not escapees from prison. Totally, right? <laughs> Dude, let's try out my mega jump. Three, two, one, go! Okay, it worked. I was gonna say it was laggy a little bit. Let's knock them all out. For whatever reason, I'm not able to kill the prisoners. We're just gonna need to round them all up, and then I guess we can get Uncle Max to come and take them back to prison. This dude might be dead, though. His head is in the wall. It's not my fault, though. They started it. Oh, so no. The seismic clap is not super effective indoors, ladies and gentlemen. Just, uh, you know, take note of that. My massive forearms, though, are really effective. Wait, what's up here? Hell Hello, do you guys want some Girl Scout cookies? Because if you do, I'm not the man for the job. I ate all of them. We have mega hippos. Wait, I don't know if you guys remember, but I fought these at the ranch. 
I thought we saved all of them. Where did they come from? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel really bad, but you see all those Omni tokens up there? I am not letting them go to waste. We're gonna go ahead and use my Mega Leap in three, two, one. Okay, all right. It, it like kind of worked. These hippos are a little bit bigger than I am. Luckily, I'm really, really powerful. Psych, psych, not powerful. I'm dead. I'm flipping dead. Hello, Mr. Hippo. Not sure if you guys knew this, but the hippo is one of the most dangerous animals on planet Earth. Like, you maybe think that it's actually a shark, but hippos are extremely aggressive and they have the, the the chopping power of literally like a heavy a heavy piece of artillery or not artillery machinery like you guys know the giant back hose i'm pretty sure the hippo can just crunch that thing in half luckily though i am not beck bro jack i am beck bro ben 10 and therefore i can seismic clap my way to victory you're gonna get bogged boy really 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 Back it up, back, stop, 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 stop it. I'm already not in the mood. All right, we're, we need to get back there ASAP, ladies and gentlemen. Get, get away from me. Go, 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 get to Jet Ray. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so we should be able to fly back. Go, 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 go. Luckily, it's not too far away, ladies and gentlemen, so we can come down here for a landing. And we made it. Wow, how did the hippos get outside? Excuse me, little doggo. Hopefully nothing else spawned in, but just in case, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna go morph into a heat blast. <laughs> probably not the best idea to do it especially because everything is pretty much made out of wood and i am basically made out of flames but if the entire place goes up in flames i really don't care i am so sorry mr brainwashed hippo we're gonna have to flame throw you let's also give him a couple little fireballs because i'm a little bit mad that he uh killed me he actually didn't kill me for whatever reason the cobweb killed me i got like suffocated in the ceiling we're not gonna talk about it though ladies and gentlemen because that is literally the lamest way to die okay cool we took out the final hippo and now we we can collect all of these Omni tokens. Yo, we unlocked the next alien. Rush. Perfect. Okay, okay. We need to make sure we can lift off up here. And we're getting all of them. We actually might go down to zero. We got down to one. Are you kidding me? Hold up, ladies and gentlemen. I need to check out this entire building to make sure I didn't miss any. We just need one more, ladies and gentlemen. That's like, I just checked the entire building and I did not see any others. And now I got to deal with all of these brainwashed dogs and hippos. I thought I literally took out the boss that was brainwashing them. So how are they getting brainwashed? There's no time for questions, ladies and gentlemen. There's only time for answers. And I, the, the answer that I'm really looking for is where the flip is the last Omni token? I'm going to head back to the base, ladies and gentlemen. But if you do know of anywhere that I can find the last Omni token, please let me know because I have really not seen seen a lot around. Before we do end off today's episode, I do want to see the brand new alien, Rush. This looks like a super upgraded version of Accelerate. And I think it is. So it has pretty much mainly the same abilities. I'm guessing that it's a lot stronger. Let's go test out its punch damage. Okay. All right. Yeah, dude, it is definitely stronger. Normally Accelerate's not the, uh, he's not the heaviest hitter, but this is like an armored upgraded stronger version of Accelerate. I also just realized too, these might be from the Anti-Trix. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but in the center of it, it's actually got like a red Omnitrix logo. I'm not sure. Wait, do other aliens have that? Let's go back to Accelerate and see. No, wait, look at it. This one is just white. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I haven't watched Ben 10 in a pretty long time, so I'm not entirely sure if it actually is from the Anti-Trix. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. But I'm gonna go run up back to the base. Next time we will be unlocking the last alien if I can find the final Omni token. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we made it back. And I actually just got word from Asmuth that he might know where the final Omni token is so I can unlock the final alien and then I'll gain master control. At least I think that's how that works. I, I may already have master control. I'm not really sure, but I really do want to see what this final alien is. A lot of you guys were commenting what you think it might be. So I don't really want to spoil it. I have a maybe like a, like a, I, I have a guess. I have a rough idea of what it possibly could be. But ladies and gentlemen, be sure to stick until the end to see if your guess is correct. And also while you're down there, you might as well just go ahead and lightly tap the like button. You get free cookies, so you might as well do it. All right, Asmuth, let's go ahead and let's see where the final token is. Jack, I have some very good news and some very bad news. The good news is that you're only one token away from unlocking all the aliens in the Omnitrix. The bad news is that we have just found out that the last token isn't in this dimension. Before Vilgax got sucked up into the portal, he managed to steal the very last token that you need in order to unlock the last alien. However, we tracked it down to somewhere called the End Dimension. You must go there and collect the last token, but be careful. 
I've detected a huge group of creatures that lurk in this dimension. By its radiation levels, it appears to be very powerful. Good luck, Jack. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it from my little uh, uh, alien dude. This little canoodle, beautiful, tiny little man. We need to go into the end dimension. And wait, does that mean I have to beat Minecraft as Ben 10? Well, I can definitely do that, ladies and gentlemen. Funny enough, I was actually looking around my house and inside of the house, it looks like Asmuth has the end dimension portal already set up. At least I'm pretty sure if we head upstairs and then go out on my balcony, I'm pretty sure we have the end portal. Okay, yeah, we do, but no. We have all the eyes of the ender except for one. We have another portal outside, so I'm guessing you guys probably already know what I have to do. As Ben 10, we're gonna have to go to the nether, collect blaze rods, and also somehow find an enderman. Then I'll be able to craft the final eye of the ender, go to the end dimension, and get the final omni token to see exactly what the last alien is. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we made it. I honestly think there's only one choice of alien for this dimension, and that is Heat Blast. Wait, hold on. My Omnitrix isn't working here. No, 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 wait a second. This can't be happening. Is my Omnitrix only able to work in, in the, in the, uh, wait, wait, in the, wait, what? I can't do this. I have, I have literally nothing. I'm naked. I have no armor. I have no weapons. I need to figure out a way to get this to work, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to go back and then I'm going to come back in as he blast. Back up, back up. Okay, okay. Uh, chill, 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 chill. Stop, stop. Yeah, here you little canoodle boodle. That's right. Okay, we're gonna go over to heat blast, morph into heat blast, and then now let's see what happens when I try to go to the nether. Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash. It worked, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, perfect. Hey, can I use the Omnitrix here now? No, I can't. For whatever reason, I'm not able to change aliens. Can I use my abilities? Yes, okay, so I can still use fireball and flamethrower and also take off. I honestly probably should have been jet ray so I could fly around, but my takeoff ability should be able to get the job done. The only issue is, ladies and gentlemen, I got the worst spawn ever. I'm literally nowhere. This is the only direction to go, so let's- Oh my gosh, wait, I'm dying? I thought I was heat blast! So I guess the nether is a little bit too hot for me to handle. What? Okay, all right. Wait, uh, I don't remember these things before. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use our takeoff ability so we can probably just fly across. Come on, don't die. Okay, so being on fire, it does not affect heat blast, but for whatever reason, lava, he's not really too good with. It looks like there's a little tiny pathway over here, so let's follow it. Okay, it continues to open up and it looks like we can go straight or down. Let's try out down. Wham, bam, thank you, man. We did it, ladies and What the? Okay, cool, I don't take fall damage. We officially made it to the nether. Now I need to find a nether fortress and I'm starting to realize Heat Blast probably was not the best person to be. Like, can I even damage a blaze right now? Like, every single one of my moves is a fire move, and a blaze is also made of flames. Why, why is my brain so tiny sometimes? It just doesn't work. I'm really hoping I do more attack damage than I normally do. Let's try to fight this hoglin and see maybe if I stand a chance. Okay, I do, I do, I do, okay. So I should be able to use that same strength against the blazes. And if I can't, ladies and gentlemen, I am more dead than beef jerky in the store. Oh, we have an enderman. Okay, okay, maybe we should focus on that first. We need at least one ender pearl, so I'm going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on, where is it? Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Okay, okay, there it is. Okay, should I flamethrower? I'm flamethrowering. Okay, wait a second, we're actually burning it. I'm literally just gonna spin in circles while I'm doing this. Okay. Okay, I maybe damaged way too many of them. I'm just gonna literally surround myself in flames. This is the only way I'm not gonna die. I think it's working though, yes! Okay, okay, wait, did we get an ender pearl? Okay, no, that, that didn't drop. Um, okay, I need to make sure that I don't accidentally burn the ender pearl because that would not be good. Come here, you little iggly wiggly. Oh, oh, he's on fire. They do not like being on fire, ladies and gentlemen. They literally start spazzing out and they teleport in every which direction they, they, they turn. Okay, this dude's on fire a lot. I think it was this guy, let's, oh no, I don't think it was that guy. That's okay though, because he's going to teleport around and he's just gonna try to keep coming at me, but I am in the safety of my flames. I kind of feel bad for these guys. They don't even stand a chance. Well, hello there, sir. I would like to tell you more about Ben 10 and how I need to get my last Omni token, and to do that, I have to kill you. It is just the circle of life. Nothing personal. Okay, I got it! Yes! We got the Ender Pearl, ladies and gentlemen. Why is it? Wait, what? It's like floating around my back. I don't even care. Now we need to fly around as he blast and try to find another fortress. I found one, ladies and gentlemen, and there are so many blazes. I need to be really careful about the Wither Skeletons because they are going to be able to take me down faster than I can say ABC123. So I'm going to remain just at a nice little distance, and we're just going to poke them with a couple fireballs. That's right, you little stumble bum. You stay down there where I can actually see you and maybe have a chance of killing you. What about a flamethrower? Oh, 
yes, sir. We're having burnt bones tonight. That would actually probably be disgusting. We're not going to be having that tonight. We're going to be having cookies. I want to see what happens when I take off and try to float down over here. Does everything still try to attack me? It actually seemed, nope, 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 never mind. I was going to say, they seem kind of friendly, but they're not. The blazes, however, aren't attacking me, which is pretty good. We're going to flamethrow you off the side. Thank you for your contribution to the Beckbro Cookie Army. And now I'm going to attempt to fight this blaze, who shouldn't do any damage to me. We got the, we, we, we did it. We did it. That was so easy. Now we put the blaze rod, blah, 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 blaze rod in the crafting table. I'm just too excited, ladies and gentlemen. And then we put that in here, and we have the last eye of the ender. Now, the only thing to do as he blasts is to find my way back. I forget how to get back. So eventually, we were able to find our way back to the nether portal. And now, we can- Okay, where am I? What? What just- Why did I spawn all the way down at the city, bro? Really? Whatever, we can go ahead and finally use our Omnitrix again. We can go ahead and morph into the upgraded version of Accelerate, Rush. And I'm just gonna rush all the way back home. Scratch that, Jet Ray is definitely the faster way. And this is it, ladies and gentlemen, the moment of truth. Once we go there and defeat the Ender Dragon, we should be able- to get the last Omni token. There it is. We did it. Three, two, one, Splunk. Wait, can I use my Omnitrix here? Oh, no, 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 I can't, man. Why is this happening to me? I can't. Okay, all right, we're gonna, I'll be back later. Maybe, maybe I will. I don't know. We're out of here. All right, new game plan, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to pick out our alien before we even step foot inside. I'm thinking, honestly, the best thing to do would be to go in as Jet Ray. Then I can fly around and use my laser vision to take out the end crystals. And after that, maybe I can come back here and then we can become a really strong alien, maybe like Diamond Head, and then just smash the Ender Dragon. All right, it worked. So I should be able to fly. Yes. Please tell me it worked. Please tell me it worked. Am I flying? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it worked. Okay, let's try out my lasers on these. Three, two, one. One laser. Okay, maybe that's not gonna work. Let's get a little bit closer. Three, two, one laser. <laughs> what if I just punch it? Oh my gosh. So it kind of works. What if I try to go and pick up the end crystal? My pickup ability does not work. Do I take a lot of damage if I punch it from here? What about lasers from here? Oh, the lasers actually work when I'm really close. Come on. That dude just yoinked my entire body. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I need to be able to master this. So we're gonna get kind of close. We're gonna right click with the lasers. So they shoot kind of low. Maybe if I aim under it, then they'll. Yes! Okay, okay. We actually nailed that. Okay, three, two, one. Lasers? Yes, ladies and gentlemen! Okay, okay, okay. It does not appreciate that. The Ender Dragon, she's coming for me. She's coming in hot and heavy, ladies and gentlemen, but do not worry. I have all of Ben 10 aliens backing me. I also see the last Omni token. Okay, okay. We need to make sure that we laser that. We need to laser this one. Yes, dude. Okay, I'm actually getting the hang of this. Let's go. Come on. Yo! This is getting too easy. Three, two, one. Okay, I, I just completely whiffed. Three, two, one, bonk. Yes. There's only two more ladies and gentlemen, and they're inside of these things, which I really do not like. Can I maybe laser it from here? No, okay. It gets literally just stopped by the iron bars. What if I laser it from above? I'm just gonna punch it, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's only one more to go. I actually tanked the hit, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now I feel kind of safe to go in and try to grab the Omni token. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen, in three, two, one. Okay, I completely missed. Come on, I did it! I did it, we got Crystal Fist! Oh, you're done for now, Ender Dragon. Let's try to get a lot of hits off. Oh my gosh, look at the damage that I'm doing. That's crazy, dude! Okay, dude, I really wanna turn into Crystal Fist. I might need to die, kill me. Do it, you scrub nugget. Come on! He's like, he's dancing around, kill me! Okay, okay, there, there finally somebody actually had the cojones to do it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we can go ahead and morph into the final alien, Crystal Fist, which I'm guessing is an upgraded version of Diamond Head. This dude looks weird. This should be the perfect matchup against the Ender Dragon. At least I hope so. So we have a Diamond Dart ability that shoots out literally like a dozen uh, Diamond Darts, I guess. We also have spikes in a line. That should be good to keep back the Enderman. And also spikes in a circle. Oh, it ran into my spikes, but it did no damage. Let's see how much damage it can do, though. Come on, punch, punch. Yo! Okay, it is really strong. Um, yeah, this is just with my bare fists. I mean, my fists are kind of made of diamonds. It came back down for another landing, and it's literally sitting on one of my spikes. Oh, this is a beautiful sight, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. It's over for you. You big twinkie, get back down here. Let's try to finish it off, ladies and gentlemen, with some diamond darts. It just... Okay. It just... Uh, diamond? Okay. For whatever reason, it is completely just deflecting my diamond darts. Can I get in for some final hits, though? Come on. Come on. Yes, I got this in the bag. 
Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we unlocked all the Ben 10 aliens. Uh, we traveled to all the dimensions. We beat Vilgax. We beat the Ender Dragon. Uh, I think this was definitely a successful series as Ben 10. Uh, hey, 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 back it up, back it up. Back, get, get out of here. I'm literally about to die to a bunch of robot dogs. I died to a bunch of robot dogs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, every single alien is unlocked. We have Slapback, a Cannonball, Humongousaur, Shock Rock, Diamond Head, Heat Blast, Jet Ray, Quad Smack, Rush, Crystal Fist, and Forearms, and Accelerate, and Wrath. I, I, I think I mentioned them all. I hope you guys did enjoy this series. If there are any other maps that you want me to play or any other mods that you would like to see, leave a comment down below. Hit that subscribe button so you guys do not miss out. That's going to be it. My name is Beckbro Ben 10, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, dude.